The Aruga Podcast. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys. They look busy, right? I can't even comprehend that. That hat looks pretty fresh, though, by the way. Thank you. It's like four years old. Is it? You never wear it outside, though. You, it, I can't. <laughs> I could. Let's be real. I could. Yeah, especially in your area. I actually showed... Uh, I've seen people wear it right outside my house. Um, I, did a, I did a drive-by by your place last night because I showed, um, I showed my girlfriend your place. Because we were right. going to um, we were going to get some ice cream, you know? Schneider's? No, no, UDF. Ah, UDF, we were going to yeah. UDF, and I was like, you know, I might as well swing by your place just to show her. And um, yeah, dude, you first was you pay seven fifty, eight fifty. You pay eight fifty. I eight fifty. Still such a good deal, dude. Such Think a good so. deal. Yeah, but how do you like it though? Is it a good I enjoy deal, it. dude? I've been having some problems as of lately. What's your problem? We have a friend. His name is. Mickey Mouse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How do you try to catch Mickey Mouse? Dude, I have like eight traps right now. You have like four in the basement. Okay. And it's just like uh, these traps that the, the mouse crawls into and he eats the bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got four of those in the basement. Mm-hmm. Got two of them upstairs. I think mm-hmm. we have five sticky traps upstairs mm-hmm. and four uh, of the snap traps okay. upstairs as well. Mm-hmm. We have like marshmallows. Mm-hmm. Pistachios and peanut butter on all of these traps. Wow, we have pistachios. That's pretty good. But do you think you're finding their highways, like where they run? Yeah, I'm stuffing them with steel wool. Gotcha. But honestly, like our house isn't sealed properly, so mm. we need to talk to our landlord and have our door hinges fixed so the door closes all the way and all mm-hmm. that stuff like that. Yeah, sure. To help sneak in. Yeah, because you know you should really get it done before summer ends because once it gets a little cold and they realize your house is a little warm right it is over dude i remember that being a big issue um also just like make sure you change the cameras oh, oh i you totally know? forgot you're fine dude you're fine but yeah like i remember i had an apartment where the mice were coming up through the there was a, a hole in the in the floor that was drilled for all the electrical stuff for right. my fridge and so they would crawl up the the line and they would, you know, come in through that hole. And then so I was like putting traps all around my fridge to be able to catch them. And I remember right. like I had the sticky str- the uh, sticky ones. Those were fucking phenomenal because I would like they would always come out at night. I see. They always would come out at night. And so like in the middle of the night, I would like hear them like whining, you know, like screaming. Right. Because they like got caught the sticky. Sh- like, how many have you killed? How many None. mice? You've killed no mice. None. It's insane. Like, are they like intelligent? Am I dealing with like Pinky and Brian, Brian or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it is right now? Like, how the fuck? Are he they might be shit? because every mouse that I've ever encountered is stupid as hell. You know, they just run and in raid into the traps. It's not difficult, but like interesting. You. I feel like they're not there. For the food. I feel like they're coming in for the mm. shelter. And, like, I can literally see outside from, like, underneath my door. So I really feel like they're just fucking running in for a second and running out just because they can. Just okay. to, like, fuck with us. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's annoying as shit. That's interesting. So, like, how did you realize that there are mice in your house? I saw it. You saw them? During the daylight. Just, like, walking around. Wow. It's fucking nuts. And wow. I was like, what the fuck? Wow. And I was trying to kill it, but just like, it's just way too fast. Yeah, sure. And then just went outside. I was like, bastard. Yeah. Th- you know what that sounds like? Some what scouts. It, it sounds <sighs> like you're dealing with some scouts, you know? They're intelligent. Yeah. They're intelligent life, form, life forms right there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't have any, I don't, honestly, if I see a mouse, what's worse for you? Is a bug worse or is a mouse worse? I think a bug for me is worse. Sure. I haven't seen... There were bugs when I first moved in, like house spiders and shit like that. Okay. I, I really eradicated. I worked hard to eradicate all the fucking bugs mm-hmm. in my house. So there's like no bugs. I haven't seen a bug in months. Okay. But now I've seen this rat. I shouldn't say rat. Mouse. Mm-hmm. I've seen it twice. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I gotta go OD. Mm-hmm. I have so much like bait though and traps set up. But it's just insane that I haven't caught any. Absolutely bonkers. 
You haven't caught a single one? I haven't caught a single one. And you've seen it in I've seen it twice. Daylight. In the daylight. Man. Man. They're really small, really scrawny. Mm-hmm. And I also... Do uh, they look thick? Do they look well fed? No. No, they're skinny. Yeah. Mm. So, I also took some, like, uh, I bought some bait. That can like go upside. Mm-hmm. I put it like since we're like fe- in a fence and area, no one's dogs gonna come in or anything. Sure. I just like sprinkled like these little acid pellets mm-hmm. just around our perimeter of our house. Yeah, sure. So if they do get like a little hungry, some shit, mm-hmm. like that, and then they'll pass away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's yeah. really interesting how like different poisons work on like different creatures. Yeah, like insects and mice. Apparently, mice are like hemophiliacs, so. So what does that mean? That's a big word. Like when they bleed, I might have butchered it, but it's just when they bleed, they uh, they don't have any uh, was it platelets. Yeah, they don't clot. Okay. So they just bleed out. Sure. So like rat poison, like the um, the little pellets and stuff that they eat in the bait, mm-hmm. just has like a little bit of acid in it, and it like corrodes their their stomach, mm-hmm. and then it won't heal. Okay. And they just bleed out. Yeah, internally. sure. Internally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. I you know, I I've always been weirded out by rat killer or like the rat pellets, you know, the poison. I've right. always been weirded out by it because it's like if an animal gets to that, like you're having cat. There's straight cats around your area. Right. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And so like maybe I was think that they're smart enough not to go for that stuff. But like I don't know. I've just seen a few cats get fucked up by that stuff. Really? And it's it's kinda strange, yeah. It's like they get really they get really thin. They don't want to eat because it like fucks up their stomach and like. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm seeing a cat like slowly die right now because of that, like a barn cat. I see. And so it's like, you know, I can't do much about it. Like. It sucks. It's just like, you can't, you can't spend two grand on surgery for yeah. a, for an outside cat. It's like, come on. What are we doing? Maybe there's like a anti-acid or some shit you could take maybe but yeah there might be some like biotics it could take or some like um something something you know yes do they not i don't know i'm pretty sure they like heal and shit yeah they have to i would Dogs assume they cats. heal it's it shouldn't be that much of a like you know the reason why water f- might help too like, okay so okay 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 have you ever heard about man my um my grandfather would always tell me this like if you want to get rid of birds and you have like birds, let's say just like, just, this is a bad way to talk about birds, but birds, if they, if they're really just like fucking up your stuff and you have like little birds, if you like sprinkle some rice out there and they'll eat the rice pellet. All right. But then once they sip some water, the rice will fill up oh, no. and it would suffocate the yeah that's insane it's re- that's a really tough one and so I, I don't condone that but like i have heard that being like done before just to get rid of like you know small birds around your like you know if you have your like crops a, or something your crops or um like if they're in your attic you Ooh. know something like that i mean obviously birds are not getting in your attic but like i don't know it's not impossible you know if there's like a big old hole and like they want to nest in there like that's not impossible Interesting. so yeah that sucks. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah. So I got. Hey, you want to? Hmm, here's a good, good show opener. So you remember? Um, Let me switch the reaction. Uh, you remember Stallmaster and Inter- Entertainment? I do. Uh, big fan of Stallmaster. He's a nice guy, and um, you know. Oh shit! I gotta make what sure. What in tarnation? So. Well, don't judge. I think he has a really good mixtape. Honestly, this is why you should make a mixtape. Lord knows you should bro, make a mixtape. Bro, I'm working tape. on one. Well, you should ask Stallmaster to do your beats, bro. Oh, because shit. he's pretty good at it. You must think that this is fun. We all do what will be done. If we think that this ain't cap, everybody do the mind grab. You know what? He's not half bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know, right? Like <laughs> this is like some rap I'd see on like PBS Kids or something. Right. Show. It's really you sweet, must actually. Think that this is fun. We all do what will be done. If we think that this ain't cap, everybody do the mind rap. 
Aren't these cuts pretty good too? Pretty fire. <laughs> these are pretty fire. Like for him just to do this, like Got just for fun. Beat. I know. So you must think that this is fun. We all do what will be done. If we think that this ain't cap, everybody do the mind rap. I know, right? It's crazy. It's good, sweet, actually. I'm actually a big fan of this kid. You must think that this is fun. We all do what will be done. If we think that this ain't cap, everybody do the mind rap. I think, I think he needs some more bars. <laughs> no. the same hook <laughs> that's a, over and over again. That's, a, that's, that's hilarious. Time. And I, I, you know, what's so funny is I, I was about two minutes in the last time I, the first time I watched him, I was it. like, man, I'm really hoping he's got another bar. But that's hilarious, <laughs> dude. If he had more bars, that shit would be hard as fuck. If I'm he had three, lie. three, good bars, three yeah. good bars, and that's all he had, and that, I would be fine with it. I'd be really fine with it. Yeah, that shit's gnarly. Yeah, that's that's. This is why you don't you have don't you have a little little mixtape? Where is that little mixtape? You want to play it right now? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think you like dissed a few people too. Oh then, shit! Oh like, shit! No, you no, know no, what I'm no, talking no. about? Maybe maybe in the future when I drop the second one, we could we could <laughs> react to that one because my first one is pretty <laughs> trash. Uh, I'm that's not such a lie. shame you say that because I thought it was super good. I thought it was super good. You don't think so? No. No. Nah. Man, that's sad. That's sad. No, next one's going to be hard as fuck, though, for sure. I bet. So, I bet. With that being said, mm -hmm. what's up? are you trying to, like, be my producer for I the mean, second I, one? I guess I could try. I could try. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to bring this boy, this yeah. mic, to my crib. Yeah. And then okay. we could record it, mm -hmm. mix it. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think yeah. that'd be cool. You know, like we could do like a little like your little hook. Like your little well actually like your precursors to sure. the hook. Like your little like intros, like you know what I'm saying? Like just Damn, got, we're just gonna go up, all there. Just like got up, you know. That's crazy. Six AM first job. You know. That's hilarious. <laughs> Three PM third job, you know what I'm saying? Like and then you go into your hook and then you go into your bars, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And then afterwards you could add a little like screen. A little, little boom boom, a little like Fair little, friend. you know, I'm like to get some features. I have features. Two people that want to feature. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, there's yeah. gonna be like some Spanish bars. That's awesome, dude. So yeah, I would love to sit in and like do all the and like throw it all together and like yeah, I would absolutely love to produce it. Fair, you know, fair. like I I can't be your beat producer, but right. if you like pick a beat and like and you want some like sound effects here and there like i still have some sound effects like from the from the beginning times of this podcast i still have so many goddamn um i what i think that um i'm gonna try and find like a drill beat i feel like that'd be hard sure 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 i feel like that's big trending right now man that's really fascinating i had a cash counter but i can't find it I remember that back in the day. Remember the Obama video that we made? That yeah, is not on the internet, right? I do remember that. That was that was awkward. That was that it's was something. You cannot tell that I'm a black man from Africa as a listener. That's pretty crazy. That's racist. That's racist. That's shit. racist. Yeah, I used to love. That's racist, man. I used to love. That's racist. Back in the day, man. Back when we didn't even have cameras. Yeah, we back when we didn't even have mics. Mm -mm. No, I mean, we didn't even have mics. This was like an old ass mic. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say that shit way too much. <laughs> That's racist. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I would love to. That's like this actually sounds really fun. Like, do you have a beat picked out already for this song? This sounds really no, no, no. No, you don't. Just working on some bars here. Are these there. the guys that you work with at, at Marvel? For sure, for sure. Marvel's got such a cool like sign out, like sign on the building. Like when you oh, first okay. drive past it. Yeah, oh, those look pretty cool. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Not the throw here, fucking. How do you do? You walk there? I can. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Two minute, thirty second walk. Yeah, sure. Man, 
<laughs> fucked up by saying that shit. I know. That song was really hesitant. So I like God damn. <laughs> now everyone's going to be like on the maps. Google. No, nah, I can't even give you the strategy. Fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. I just doxed myself, bro. Yeah, the apartment complex I live in is nice, though. Super nice, right? You got yeah. a nice door, man. Yeah. But somehow like, he keeps letting in the mice. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, that is so laggy, and I, I hope it doesn't fuck up <coughs> later on, but we'll have to figure something this out. This is zero percent on it. On does it really? Yeah, it does. That's good. It says zero. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I guess Perfect. the um that gif that we tried to put on the hor- like the real podcast, like the the episode, it was too much. The little yeah. like squiggly lines around it, and I would have really liked to have been able to use it one day, but like today's definitely not the fucking day. For sure. But yeah 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 do you have like a whole do you have 16 bars ready right now like have you already written it i've written some you've written some nothing's good yet yeah yeah yeah. You know, i need some words sure i know it's like i'll think of like a bar or think of like something that's super whack about someone mm-hmm. and i'll be like you know what i could use that i write it down yeah, i don't yeah, yeah. like a, a little rhyme skin to it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. definitely need some more work for sure I think okay it's taking like Maybe four hours to throw, throw a whole thing together. Yeah, sure. I don't want it to be too long as well. I'm kind of thinking about that because if I have two features mm-hmm. and I have like a couple of verses, I feel like it's going to take me a minute and a couple of seconds to throw my, throw my bars down. And then yeah, sure. It might take them a minute each as well. That's do you have a, like three minutes. Do you have a chorus yet? Or are you just going to do freestyle? I'm feeling the freestyle. Feeling but the freestyle? We could. I guess we could. If we really wanted to, we could make it like a whole ass song. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. That'd I know. Be crazy. I know. Like have you ever heard um have you ever heard I Do It? By uh, by Lil Wayne, but it's Big Sean and Lil Baby. I'm no. a, I'm actually gonna play this song right now. Because like this is kind of when I think of choruses, you a catchy chorus and a catchy hook is everything, man. It's like to be able to have like and obviously I'm not I'm not here trying to be like, oh, hi, this song needs to blow up. It doesn't. But, you know, like, just as, like, song creation, like, it's so nice to be able to have, like, a nice hook and a, sure. nice, and a nice chorus. Um, the chorus part is going to be the hardest part for sure. Unless yeah. I rip it from someone or some shit. But it's just, like, it's really just for... Uh, Both of my homies that I work with can sing, though, which is crazy. Really? Yeah. That's cool. What, 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 what kind of singing are we talking about? I don't know. They... And I hear them like, like we'll play music in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And I hear yeah, them yeah. like, they can like stick, uh, fuck, I don't know anything about singing, but like, you know, they're on the, like the right octave. Yeah, 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 you know, sure. They can have a range of octaves that are like pretty good. It's mm-hmm. like, damn, that's not bad. Yeah, sure. You sound just like the song. So right. You could probably make your own, your own little chorus, you know? Yeah, of course. That sounds great. That actually, yeah. It's that like, you know, I don't talk shit, bitch, I do it, you know, just damn. that kind of stuff. Then if I was a rapper, I don't know if I could. Well, I am a rapper, <laughs> but I don't know if I could have like a banging ass uh, chorus. I don't know if well, I'm that e- melodic. You know what I mean? So what you, I think, what I think you're confused on is how to create a chorus. Right. But you had that mixtape song or that right. that what what the fuck you want to call it? You just had that song, right? right? You created that little song, and you could have took and you could have taken three bars out of it. And take split it out the bars yeah 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 you could have left it in the you could have left it in your verse and then just took those three bars and make it a chorus i see do you know what i mean I feel and that. you don't even have to retake it do you know what i mean you don't have to do three takes yeah you could just you could just do the one take it. and then just cut it out of it yeah and so but like ideally you really do want to have it separate you really do want to have like um your verse separate from your chorus not saying that like how do I say this? You would want multiple takes. Right. Just that plain and simple. Just to be able to pitch it right. And I feel like most people, like, they don't melodically understand how to, like, put the words together at first. Like, I right. feel like you have to sing, like, especially at, at this amateur level. 
you would probably have to sing it like 30 times yeah. to be able to flush it out melodically to be able to like be on beat and everything like that right yeah. and just for it to sound correct and all to have all the same like if cadence and everything like same that. cadence yeah. like same ending you know like i don't talk shit bitch i do it like i don't know just yeah. like just That's that little shit yeah just to be able to like have it like all flow together it makes sense but yeah i know no no man life of a rapper's tough man <laughs> hard to be a rapper out here. just be an ego or something yeah yeah you should t- you should change the fucking camera angle back when you sh- when you start talking man. green and red is a fascinating one you look like a christmas tree like a strawberry yeah, yeah you do look like a strawberry that's true yeah uh, you know do you think like let's say you make a song and you go super popular you get like 10 million views on this like one like mixtape song do you think you would like ever go and like you know what? I'm gonna go I'm on gonna stage with it. Yeah. I'm gonna go on stage with it. Fuck! I feel like my homies would want to, but I I'm not about that way. I would <laughs> never want to be a rapper for real. I would never <laughs> like to have concerts. What if the door opened to you though? Like you made one song and you got and you got I would be ten million <sighs> views on that one fucking song on SoundCloud. Fuck, you're right. It's you know like what I mean? Deep, it's like a what is it name? Not D Banks. It's a hmm. The one rapper with the four four bats. Four bats, sure. Yeah, it's like how he had his one hit wonder. Now he like milked it. He fucking mm-hmm. signed to Drake. He mm-hmm. fucking he's, he's doing it. Right. So if I do that, hmm. Like if you stumble upon in that world and you do and you I probably do well, should take advantage of it, huh? Yeah, of course. Fuck. Absolutely. Yeah, it'd be waste of time not to. Yeah, and you should sit in with all the producers and all the like the people who can teach you about music, right. you know, about music theory and how, like, you should just, like, I don't know, Damn. you know, like, just to build up your skills, sharpen up your sword. If, of I, it. if I did do that, I would have to make money and I would have to sure. be able to, like, quit all my jobs for sure. Mm-hmm. Just to, like, focus on that and then school. Yeah. Like, that would, <laughs> and that, then school. <laughs> that would be my job. Yeah, I got to finish school, man. I need that degree. You know, you could be, like, the first, like, um, you remember how... You remember Will Smith was a rapper? Right. And he was like trying rapper. to be like, well, I know, I know. But like, I mean, he has a song that has like 200 and something million views on right. Spotify. Guess, so like, I that's guess. not, I mean, like, I get it. We can all make fun of him for not being a rapper. But like, I mean, it's funny. He's more popular than uh, Jaden Smith. Isn't that tough? Like, that's 11 million. As a rapper? Yeah, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Jaden. So Will Smith was at like 11,000, 11 million? Or was it billion? Is it this? Is this kid right? There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got less That's listeners insane. than his father does. That's fucked. Isn't that really fucked? I feel bad. I feel bad too. Maybe if you start rapping about the systematic climate. No, the economic economic state of the world. economic climate of the economic state of the world. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah, but what I'm, I guess my point is like, you know, you could be like the first, like, um, what's the fucking, don't do drugs. What's that? What's that? Um, clean rapper. You could be the first clean rapper. First yeah. Clean rapper. Not first. Obviously, you're not the first one, but like, you could, like, I mean, you always preach sobriety. So I feel like. I mean, like, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to get you to have a beer with me on Labor Day. I literally was telling my scheme to my girlfriend the other night about how I just want you to have one beer in your life. Just, I'm not asking for you to, like, lay down your, like, I'm not trying for you to break bad. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not for you to do all these crazy, I just want you to try one beer in your life, you know? And I don't feel like that's that crazy of an ask. And I understand how uncomfortable you're already getting yep. about this. Fucking <laughs> <You're like laughs> tensed up. My shoulders are up to my ears. And shit. <laughs> oh, shiver me timbers. <laughs> and it's like, and I don't want you to have a, have a Bud Light. Maybe you should have like a Corona or like a Blue Moon. Or Coors Light. No. No? Like a Heineken. Those are like one of those beers. Because like if you have... If you just have, like, a cheap American beer, it's unfortunate, you know? Like, you should have, like, a nice beer for your first time. That's all I, I got. Yeah. I know. I know. So, here's the, you know, the the two options for your life. You could become a clean rapper, and then also, you could have your first beer on Labor Day. How do you think about that? 
Well, I guess I'm going to have to be a, cl- a clean rapper. Like, yeah, yeah. I guess I don't have a choice here. Shit. Shit, dog. You're really against it that much? Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Really? Yeah. It's pretty bad. You won't even say no. You just say it's pretty bad. Damn. So you're like, you're totally against the idea of you having one beer? Are you allergic to alcohol? Might as well be. <laughs> Might as well be. Okay. That bourbon be right. killing, bro. It's My liver. <laughs> it's like times 10 damage. It's a critical hit on the liver. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. That's Pretty funny, bad. man. Damn, I'm it's so funny. surprised we don't have any chats. Come on. <laughs> what's your favorite beer? What the fuck is your favorite beer? <laughs> it's because we have that subscriber mode on. It is. True. You know? No one wants to subscribe. Yeah. Oh. No subscribers. We're losing subscribers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Losing viewers. I might as well just like check it out actually. We should check out the, the kick. Hey one. guys, you want you want some you want some Cheetos? You want some Cheetos? Hot fries. What do you think about hot fries? Not bad. Not bad. What do you think about I think my favorite Cheetos is the uh the extreme uh the what? hot. The huh? I think it's like extra hot. Extra Cheetos. hot, okay, okay. You like those? those the extra, extra high. hot, or are you just talking about flaming hot? I think it's flaming hot, but ah. it's like extra, and they're like mm. extra red mm-hmm. when you open it. And it's like, man, is this gonna kill me? This all this red forty and shit. Is this gonna kill me? <laughs> you won't even have a beer, <laughs> and you'll take in that fucking <laughs> acid of a snack. On God, on God, that's so that shit is a why? snack. It's a snack. It's a bop. It is good as shit. It's not good as shit. I don't, I don't eat it often. I think the last time, I haven't had it in years. Really? Yeah, for sure. It's been That's a while. Fair. That's fair. What is the what does the kick uh, chat look like? Oh yeah, sure. Let's see what they're laying mm-hmm. down. Some knowledge. Mm-hmm. Hey, how are you doing, Josephine? Josephine, we're doing good. We're doing good. Living the dream. Hello. If you're still here. If you're still here, good. Doing well. I hate doing chat, dude. Why? Do, why are we doing this? Those? Is a, this is a one time. Next time, mm-hmm. twenty minutes. Twenty minute break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does that mean I'm going to my next video? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I would love to see it. Okay. okay. Um. What do you got here for oh, us? This is a good one. Ooh, something about my Lord and Savior, yeah, Donald Trump. Yeah. This is a. This is on target. On par. On par, man. Yeah. Take a look at what happened. Damn. What the fuck? No way they're already doing this. No way. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn, that was sweet as fuck. Yo, is this AI? Yeah. <laughs> no way. I really like that one. I like the explosion one. Dude, AI has come a long way. It really has. It really has. Oh my god, what the fuck? They got one where he's you like firing this? back. What yeah. the fuck? Here are three ways to make a bandit. Oh man, I really wanted them. Alright, we're gonna have to mute you. See if we can get to it. I know. Sorry guys, we're just gonna struggle for a little. Can you get our reaction frame for a moment? Yeah, for sure, for Wonderful. sure. Actually you can go back to it. Ready for it? I'm ready for it. Would you like a would you like one? No, no I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm on my diet, you know what I mean? Holy wow. Wait, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, we're gonna just pause right there. Criminals. Oh my Jesus. What has oh. the American <laughs> pres- presidency come to? Oh man. Why does he look like Dr. Phil, bro? Maybe we shouldn't show this one. Yeah, this is kind of raunchy right that here. One's a this is edgy much. as fuck. I'm plug. sorry, guys. I actually thought that was going to be a little different than that. Ew. I don't know what I was looking for, but it wasn't that. Yeah, I apologize, insane. guys. I thought you'd be shooting at the shooter or I something. Know. Not our other candidate, ex-candidate. Yeah, that's that's tough, man. That's tough. Jesus Christ. I know, I know. Mm. What has my, the state my, of it, of fucking... What does it come to? What's the state of the union come to? What, what does it come to? Mm. Jesus Christ. I know. That was a bummer. Save America. What do you think is going to happen, by the way? With the election, current election? Yeah, just like, 
just the state of America. Let's just go with that. You know, actually, keep the knows, camera on me honestly, for a second. Honestly, I, have, I have questions opposed to Good, good. Because, like, we have the presidential election happening, right? right. We have two wars that are unfinished. We have, we're at the end of a fucking pandemic that nobody's talked about. What you know? pandemic? What? COVID. It's done. Yeah, but nobody nobody's talked about how, you know, they should put Fauci in jail because he funded, you know, the gain to function research. He got away. He got away, he got with, away it. with it too many times, man. You know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He got away with it. Okay, He's okay. Chilling. He is chilling, but like, we're at the end of that, you know, and there's no nothing's changed. It's only gotten worse. You know what I mean? The housing market's only gotten worse. The price of food has only gone worse. Like the, just the price of living has gone higher. Like since pre, t- like to post COVID, post COVID's worse. Pre COVID, it was great, right? It was Pri- okay. Come on, Ga- gas prices were extremely low. Like yeah, inflation was there, but like when did Trump get elected president? Sixteen. I feel like it was like seventeen, eighteen. We were like teetering on it, yeah, and sure. COVID fucking. Boom. Yeah, agreed. But like agreed. sixteen, eighteen, it was like a. Let's say that. I'd say it was like maybe five percent, and then COVID took it the next thirty. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. But yeah, back then. How am I opposed to that? Cheaper. But I, I think people were just like. They thought the economy was fucked because of Trump. Change the goddamn my cameras, man. My bad. I'm trying, dog. <laughs> I'm trying, dog. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? What do you think's I gonna think happen? What the fuck? Uh, so with uh, there's a lot of shit going on. I was watching a video, mm-hmm. and it was like um, discussing the status of the world and how like more and more. This guy's like a Christian, right? Okay. And he was like. More and more evils are being released onto the world every uh-huh. day. Yeah, sure. Things that were bad, that would have been super bad and been top headlines back in the day are now just like right, yeah, in the thanks. newspaper, like super common. Sure. So he's like, now even more and more evil is going to be happen- happening. And he's like, do you remember in Revelations when Jesus said that the, in the end of times, more and more evils will be released onto the earth? So I feel like it's just going to get worse. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But that's such a... Man, I'm so over that cliche. That cliche has been around for so goddamn long. You know? That revelations, man. The end of the world is happening super soon. You know? The Mayan calendar is like ticking away. Or just... I'm so done with that conversation. I get it. Look. Of course, a goddamn meteor can come and hit Earth. Of course, the goddamn Yellowstone volcano can explode. Of course, the temperature of Earth might heat up and start migration all around the world. That also might that that one actually might be really true. That one's kind of crazy. Have you heard about that one? I've not. That, like, there's like kind of some mass migration happening currently like obviously there's been migration to america from like you know okay from like where are people going i don't know i think just away from the equators Uh, i don't know interesting i just like i hear that i hear it get thrown around all the time that the heating up of earth and the changing of the poles has caused um there to be heat where it it did not used to be and so, like, mass migration has, like, started. Oh, well, we're going to look that one up. That's interesting. Yeah. But, Dude, have know. you seen what was happening at the Olympics? No. All the well, controversy and shit? No, 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 no. People go were, ahead. Like, like, Andrew Tate is, like, fucking trying to defend it and shit. And, like, it's throwing off a lot of people about all the shit that's going down in France right now. The really controversial shit. Yeah, sure, sure. I, You know, I actually have a video. I have a video of that. Um, let's see this mass migration. Uh, yes, uh, mass migration is happening. More uh, people are migrating than ever before in 2022. The United 
<clears throat> the United Nations estimated that 281 million people, or 3.6% of the world's population, were living in a country other than their birth country. Okay. Okay. It's insane. Is that bad? I don't know if that's really bad. I don't think that's really that bad, honestly. Unless it's like... You know, fringing on the ability to, for other people to live comfortably. But I don't know. I, that's such a broad statement. What were you going to... Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, so... The Olympics. The Olympics. You're talking about... Why does Andrew Tate always have to, like... Say some shit. Say some shit. Well, it, it was going against, like... They're doing some, like, something... Christian stuff, right? About, yeah, Christianity. So, there was... um. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, it was Olympic... Olympic... <sighs> Jesus. Olympic. Um, it was um, Last Supper. Last. Yeah, supper. yeah, yeah. It was the Last Supper. They're trying to recreate that. Mm-hmm. Which, how is that um, blasphemy, you know? Well. Was it because of this? Yeah, they're trying to make it like, uh, how do I say that and be a politically correct terminology? We're going to go to YouTube. We're going to watch a video. I don't want to say they're trying to make it. Christian Sauce. friendly? I feel like they're trying to make it... Uh, what's the word for that? Are they trying to mock? Mute the mic. Mute the mic, my mic real quick so I can say the word. <laughs> they're trying to make it gay. You can't say that on mic. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're such it's a, a hot mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they were. Yeah, sure. sure. They're just, trying to make it like LGBTQ yeah, friendly. I, that's what I was trying to say. LGBTQ plus. Yeah. Man, damn it. I don't want this either. But I know a lot of um, LGBTQ plus people. They're the, it was actually like people that were like of LGBTQ plus that were like, like a man that's like married to a man. And other people that I know that are... LGBTQ plus, he told me about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. And what, two what was people tell me about this? Man and, and a woman that what, were both LGBTQ. What was their opinions on it? They said that it's ridiculous and it was like misrepresenting them. It made them look bad. They were pissed. Sure. They were like, "What does fucking Jesus and the Olympics have to do with like sexuality and shit mm-hmm. like that?" That's what they were saying. Yeah, sure. And um. Man, you know what's so crazy is there's, there's not a single video on it, which is really nonsense. Like, how is that possible? How is there not a fucking single video Damn. on this motherfucker? Everybody's got... Do, like, replay or something. Everyone has, like, a commentary on it. Yeah, and I don't want fucking... Com- and it's not even good commentary. Like, come on. They were, I haven't seen it, but, yeah, they were saying that it was, like, misrepresenting them. And they were pretty pissed. And they were like, "You, they pissed off the LGBTQ+. Plus. They pissed off Christians. Yeah, sure. Pissing everyone off. And they probably pissed off some Olympians. Cause you For can't, just doing it? Yeah, you yeah. can't. You're, you're not even allowed to like show like religion? your religion, your like, yeah, sure. backgrounds on some bullshit. Like, you're supposed to be... You're supposed uh, to take all that. You're supposed to leave. Yeah, yeah, leave that at home. It's nationalism, and that's the only thing that should be ever talked about, right? Right. Because that's what the Olympics are. It's just, it's just fucking nations getting together, you know, as one. Just for, for man, this is such bullshit. I can't find a single fucker. This is tough. Do you think if I just go on Google, then we're gonna do duck, 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 go. Yeah, like you can like there is a surfer that I heard about that had a uh had a Jesus board and mm-hmm. he had to get removed. Like he's from Brazil. You know how they have the big uh Jesus statue in Brazil? Yeah, I do. Yeah, hug me Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, he's not allowed to have it on his surfboard, but they're allowed to like do the last supper. Man, that's crazy, really? That's fucking And up, he's isn't from it? fucking Rio and he's not or you know Brazil. He's from Brazil at least, yeah. Damn, son, that's crazy. That's a crazy statement that you just said. That's fucked. Because this fucking Leonardo da Vinci's fucking artwork doesn't need to be a part of the goddamn Olympics. It doesn't. You know? If anything, they could do some Greek shit, right? Because the Greeks created the Olympics. Right. But that's it. Right? You could do a knockoff parody of a fucking Greek painting and nobody would bat an eye. Right. But because it's... 
nobody's defending that religion anymore, you know? <laughs> Damn. <so. laughs> dude, there's some other crazy shit. Uh, Hopefully you can find yeah. this video because I, I really have not seen it. Dude, I haven't seen it. I have not seen a part of it. Like, Should we just re- watch someone's... Uh, I guess. You're, yeah, I guess. Unfortunately. It's really sad. Man, no one has a, the original video, bro? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Who are we going for? So Maybe not was, someone too big. This was the video that... I'll show, I'm going to show this video because I saved this video. Okay. Okay. And, um, yeah. Excuse me. Um, and this is, I forget the Guardian. You or saw some show. Andrew Tate. A video Andrew, Tate Andrew Tate talk about this, but I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? You know, I right. never, I didn't get that far into it. I got to let the ad skip. But, um, yeah, I never, I didn't know what he was talking about. I just saw that, you know, once Andrew Tate's fucking picketing on a particular topic, I was like, what, what is he doing? You know, because like, that's what these people do. You know, when they, when you are that famous, you kind of just find what's the biggest topic out there and then you choose your opinion on it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how every one of these motherfuckers do it, which is really fascinating to me because... I mean, that is what it is. It's just our opinions. You know, we're not... Mm-hmm. I mean, he might think he's like an alpha male, but like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just opinions at the end of the day. Yeah. It's not really facts or anything crazy. It's just part of the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You meant to that. What's your opinion then? <laughs> what is my opinion? I haven't seen it, so I can't have an opinion. All right, we'll watch this then. I didn't mind his. He didn't apologize. Bro, his son is goofy. So I know, right? They're not sorry. This was signed off on. And to sit here and let France mock the country, mock your religion, make fun of every single thing you feel holy, this is the Last Supper. This is everything holy about Christianity, and, and we say absolutely nothing about it, and say, "Oh, you cannot even complain." What are we doing wrong by saying that this is disgusting? This what? is this is not art. Doing this. Everyone at home, I want you to under- they don't try and trick you or deceive people. If I give you a poison apple and you eat it, I murder you. If I say this is a poison apple, all of this. His points are so half-assed. Exactly it's really you. funny. I really like that statement. They're just gonna come for all your institutions. There's nothing left, <laughs> and I'm sure this isn't like this isn't nice to Christianity. Sure, that's fine, but like, I don't know. Do you think that they would let you watch this at a Catholic school? Like, not this, but like what would happen at the Olympics? No, no, I don't think they would let me. No, I think they would. I think they would see that. And they're like, oh, there's some drags. We're going to turn this off. We're going to wait for the for the, for the, the events, you know, for the sports. That's what would happen, you know? If it was a true Catholic school with a good, I say good teacher, but like a teacher that's on top of like... The curriculum. The curriculum, yeah. Then they would, they would make sure that, you know, kids don't see like drag queens and shit like that's that. Insane. Because I'm assuming that's what's happening, right? Right. I'm assuming there's a couple of them that are drags. Man, because that's like, kind of fucked, though. I feel like they should be able to see it. What, but kids? I don't know, man. That's uh, that's, that's where I, I draw the line. It's like, I get it. I get why I like people want that representation. That's fine. I'm not going to. But also, like, you can't really force it on the kids, guys. Right. You can't, like, that is adult content. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, are you having kids watch the Victoria's Secret? Yeah, like, that's what you're saying. Walk... Then, no. And if you say no, then you should also have to say a hard fucking no to the drag queens. And so it's like, come on. I think that come on. ignorance is bliss. Sure. Yeah. Well, I feel like the knowledge and being able to have the concept of like what even a drag queen is sure. is important. Mm-hmm. That's it, really. Yeah, that's fair. Like just so that's they fair. know it's out there. Yeah, but something. Guys, you you you, you go to public, right? It's fair. I, <laughs> Just go to a fucking local Walmart or grocery Walmart. store. Go to a local grocery store. And if you don't see somebody who's cross-dressing, then you're probably, you just need to go to a different city and then just see it. I don't know. Like, I feel like kids get enough exposure. Fair. Kids get, I got exposure I wonder, when I, I was what, a kid. I feel like I I did not. Really? I feel like I didn't really see it until Interesting. Like, I was in like a big city. Really? Like Cincinnati. Okay, sure. Like, Did you I go to that Clifton Kroger and you saw a couple? Sure, probably. <laughs> yeah. probably real. Sure, sure. I think I knew like two, maybe three people that were like by uh-huh. in my high school. Okay. 
one was a transgender. Sure. And I was actually like cool with them. They're yeah, a yeah. guy and they transitions to a lady. Sure, sure, sure. And it was just like normal. It okay. wasn't like uh it wasn't a thing. It wasn't like as like projected as it is now. Right. Or as it is in like a city or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like everyone has to know what I'm up to, what I want, what I like. Everyone right. has to know like just super hyper projected and in your face type shit. Mm-hmm was not like that it was just it was chill yeah 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 sure i mind my business i don't care mm-hmm. you do you yeah chill but i feel like like this shit like mm-hmm. the, the media is just like milking every penny they can for I this know. shit like it's I insane know. well it's outrage culture i feel like the the most you know if you're pro or against you know lgbtq but it's still a hot topic you know what i mean people right. will people are so invested on both sides that they will have outrage culture for or against you know what i mean it's just because it's like a trigger word it's a trigger word yeah. to the to the masses now and so like and i think like you know what used to be a trigger word to the masses was like when obama or what, like he passed the um the um, was it the gay, gay marriage? marriage? Yeah, the gay I marriage. Thing. It on my fucking birthday or some shit. Really too? too? That's funny. That's, that's really I, funny. I think that's why it's like uh, Pride Month. Because June. it happened on yeah, June. I yeah. Think so. Yeah, but like that was such a hot topic, and that was such a trigger word for a while. So like, I just think the trigger words for the masses changes, and you know, wokeism and like LGBTQ is like the the trigger. You know, I love. I love to people to see people squirm on this topic. Like I'm going to go to a family event today. Okay. And I might bring it up. This one's a great juicy story. You know, what do you think about the Olympics? Uh, You know, last supper thing. And this would be a great, that's also like, you know, if some people just like, if they don't care, if they're just like, you know, it happened, you know, like this is what happens, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, you're like a reasonable person. You know what I mean? But if you're like, you know, digged your heels on a particular side. It's really funny to see it because like, you don't even know it's, it just goes back to like, sometimes you just like are part of a party and you don't even realize it, but you're defending them to fucking high heavens. Yeah. 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 It's like, I do this too. Don't get me wrong. Like if you're, if it's, this is my trigger, which is um, like, um, if someone's like against the second amendment or just like guns in general and they're like, we should have stricter gun laws. And it's like, and I always like in my heart, I'm like, oh, you know, like don't do that. Like <laughs> Damn. we hilarious. can't have the fucking state control us. Like, what are you saying? You can't have the state control our ability to have something that defends us. Like, what are we doing taking away the swords, you know? What are we doing taking away the the axes? What are we doing taking away the guns, guys? Like, we need to defend ourselves against the government. And, like, (sighs) it's a tough one, man. Needs the op stopper. (laughs) I know. Needs the op stopper. (laughs) (laughs) Bruh. I always love it. And people are like, well, the government has tanks. And you're like... Arming armored piercing bullets is all you need against a tank. Hey yo, <laughs> bro, he, you just made the list. <laughs> you just made the list. I know. Well, I'm, I feel like the ultra, uh, the ultimate American though. What am I supposed to do besides have liberty? What am I supposed to do besides have freedom? What am I supposed OPDs to do? OPDs on your ass. C- CPD, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is, Cincinnati Police Department, Ohio Police Department, they're on your ass no, right now. They would, they would defend that. I feel like it would be the CIA, the like CIA, <laughs> the FBI. Shit, that's hilarious. <laughs> With the Department of Census. <laughs> God, they're on his ass. Uh, what is the NSA? Is that the N- National Security? Yeah, something? some. I think those are the those are the people who. Um, that's the three-letter acronym that, um, what's that guy who leaked? He was like in 2012-ish. Damn, it's not Dan Schneider. It's definitely not Dan Schneider, no. It's definitely not that guy. That, um, he like ran... Snowden. Ran, yes. Edward Snowden. Yes. He was the guy who like worked for the NSA and then he leaked uh, you know, a bunch of files about how they uh, spy on like you know Americans. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a... You know, if I if I wish that I wish that our political candidates 
would be like, I'm going against, you know, Americans being spied on. I'm going against, you know, a three letter acronym agency controlling Americans. You know, I'm against, you know, foreign spending. I'm for Did you hear infrastructure. It? I'm for the government spending on homes to subsidize for Americans to have cheaper living. Man. Affordable living. Aff- yeah, not even a full. Can we do cheap? Cheap? <laughs> Can we do cheap? Good, but cheap living. Like, what are we doing? Like, juicing them. America has literally been juiced from its core. Like, the fucking middle class is like slip, slipping and sliding towards the the towards the lower class. Like, I That's don't know, crazy. man. It's real. It's a slippery slope. Don't you feel like you live on that slippery slope? Well, we we just started, you know, <laughs> and we started on a bad fucking foot. <laughs> okay. So Wait, when you say we, do you mean your your family? I no, I'm saying you I should say us as young adults. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So, but you know, there's hope. You know, I'm sure there are people out there that, unlike me, were able to finish college by now mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. are probably doing much better off hopefully hopefully because i've seen some jobs some bullshit ass jobs that start mm-hmm. at like 20 an hour for mm-hmm. a rough bachelor's degree like, yeah sure that shit's fucked mm-hmm. but hopefully there is hope yeah because I, I went to the er the other day for like a middle ear infection yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and i overheard some of the nurses probably went to school for four years mm-hmm. and they uh they said yeah i started out at um like twenty dollars, nineteen dollars an hour, and over the past nine years I've been working here, I've gotten a two dollar raise every year. That's fucking insane. So now they're making like forty something an hour. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's like not nine bad. years ago, making twenty an hour compared mm-hmm. to like minimum wage when I was making seven dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. You know they were making like twenty. Yeah, sure. That shit was crazy back then. I remember when mm-hmm. I had a thirteen hour job back then. I was like, I'm making so much fucking money. Mm-hmm. And then when I hit overtime, I was getting paid twenty like six or twenty seven. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm making doctor money right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's hilarious. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I hope that um, by the time I'm like at the age of buying a home, that I can put a down payment for a home. You know, like I think that's. That's honestly the only thing I truly need is just to be able to like afford a mortgage. But like most mortgages are gonna be like what a thousand to twelve hundred dollars yeah, for like a thirty sure. year loan, which for is sure. not bad. You can do that so fucking easily, and so it's like all you have to have is really a down payment and some credit for sure. And like that's not difficult either. So like, dude, uh, I was looking at like hundred thousand dollar houses. Mm-hmm. Mortgage and that's like eight hundred. That's like basically what I'm paying now. Oh, eight hundred. But, but finding a hundred thousand dollar house in today's market is damn near impossible. It's really impossible. Also, like a home that you don't have to put money into, you can just move into it. And you don't have to renovate any rooms or repaint anything. That doesn't like, exist. Does it, it doesn't exist, dude. Yeah. Especially like if you want a little land on that little plot too. Mm-mm, man, now you're ca- you're talking about three hundred thousand dollars. Right, it's nuts. Easy, which is you like if you do a fifteen year loan, you're talking about like. <laughs> I think the most <laughs> valuable know. thing is like uh, if you if you know how to build your house. Yeah, sure. That sounds valuable. I don't know how much they charge. Like, I don't want to build a fucking mansion. Mm-hmm. I don't need fifteen bedrooms or five plus bedrooms. Right. Don't need it. Don't need the fucking three thousand square foot house. Mm-hmm. Like all the builders right now that are around us, that's what they're doing. Yeah. But if I was able to contract a builder to build like a let's say a two bedroom house, mm-hmm. I would love to know the price on that. Yeah, sure. Like the crazy ones that they're offering are like four hundred thousand, mm-hmm. like a five bedroom, two thousand square feet. Yeah, four hundred thousand. So if I was able to like get like no luxuries, mm-hmm. half the space, mm-hmm. half the rooms. Yeah, if I could get it for like under two hundred k, that seems like a viable option. It's new. Yeah. You know, then you probably wouldn't have to like fix up anything. Mm-hmm. That'd be dope. This is why I'm really hoping for some concrete printing homes. You know what I mean? I feel I'm that. really feel like I because I feel like they really the only reason why they would charge you so much is just to be able to like cover all of the just to upcharge you. 
That's right. the only reason they're charging you so much because like that concrete, I bet it's not expensive. That's what I'm thinking. That concrete's not expensive. Like that machine that they're using is expensive, but after it's printed 200 homes, is it really that expensive? Yeah. It's not. You and paid so, off by that, right? Yeah. What's the margins of that? Absolutely. And so it's like, it shouldn't cost more than fucking $150,000 to print a four bedroom kitchen and like a living area plus bathrooms. Come on. It shouldn't be that much. It really shouldn't be. Two two levels? Come on. We're, we're, you know, like, all you're doing is laying concrete, guys. Like, come on. You're not putting wood up. You're not doing hammer and nails. Right. You're not, you're barely doing measurements. I mean, you are doing measurements, but really are you? Like, come on. You're just laying down the foundation, and, and then you're just building up from there. So, like, yeah, I'm really kind of banking on the concrete printing homes. Like, they're so fucking, I wonder how much, I wonder if they do concrete printing homes around here. You got roasted in the in our comments, my guy. By who? Uh, his name is. It looks like it's uh, Vinny. He's saying, "Is, is that the backpack kid?" Is that the backpack kid? What's that mean? You don't know who the backpack kid is? No, who's the backpack kid? The guy that did the floss back in the day. Backpack. He's looking it up. He's looking it up. Motherfucker! Oh, press fuck. something. I'm like. Backpack. Backpack. Oh, I look like the backpack kid. I guess I do with this haircut. I you don't look. Clown. I don't look like that. Come on, the backpack kid. Come on, dude. You know I look so much better than that. Come on, Vinny, bro. You got. I mean, you got me fucked up, but like, you know, that's okay. Um, and then we have a man. another guy named uh, Wooljik Tech Key. Yeah. He said, "Sup." He's Sup, Polish. Sup, dog. He's Polish. Um, Thank you for subscribing. Printing. Homes. Uh, man. Let's see it. What are they saying? What is the price? Have they done any in the U.S.? It's a good question. Yeah, they did. They did Ooh. Texas. Looks like did California, too. Uh, October of 2022. That's yeah. a while ago, That's too. That's a while ago. Hmm. I just don't understand why this didn't get any traction, you know? I have no clue. Do you think that um, hmm. they have, like, a website so we can, like, like how Tesla does, you know what I mean? You can, like, look up how much the hmm. house cost. Yeah, I think Is it can. them? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, Housing that's a great idea, actually. Like you t- you're talking about just like models, like the type of CAD files that they have already made for. Um, Shit, I didn't even think that far. I was just thinking like uh, like to see some quotes or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is insane, though. I don't want to go on this one yet because I wanted to be able to. I wanted to see this guy. Man. Thinking forever. Yeah, I just think their website's bad. That's no not bad, way. though. That looks really good. That looks fucking f- fan- f- fabulous. Yeah, I no like how way. big the windows are. You see how big those fucking windows are? That's impressive that they're able to like lay down the concrete and then like add some stuff to it to make it look like a regular home. Like You wouldn't be able to tell. You wouldn't be able to tell. Not until like fucking a hurricane comes through and your house is the only one standing on the block. Literally, literally. I wish it would. Yeah, I wish it would give quotes, solutions, partnerships. Yeah, I don't think they give quotes. That's Man, I would love to know. It's super interesting. Quotes. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do this. Yeah, I would love to see like the pricing of these kind of homes. Like, um, might have to Google just use. Google saw that little drown, down drop. Pricing. Oh, I thought that was pricing. It was printing. printing. <laughs> how much do you? How much? Hmm. Do you think it's cheaper? Or do you think it's more expensive? I, I think, think they're gonna. I think they're gonna make it more expensive because they're gonna upcharge them because it's concrete and it's more. It'll last longer. You know, I these see. homes. They they said that these homes will be uh, be built so well that they will last a hundred years, and they'll last through hurricanes. And that they have rounded edges. Round edges are really good for aer- aerodynamics. I see. Like shit like that, you know? And yeah. so, 
I don't know. I don't know, man. I'd be a big fan of having one of That's these. That's such a stupid ass range 10,000 to 400,000. Well, that's the thing, dude. If you could really, if you could have like most of the pricing or most of the, like the cost ups are going to be like plumbing, electricity, okay. the roof, laying all the. You remember seeing like how that house was? They, they laid brick to do the pillars in the front. Right. Stupid shit like that. You know, that's what's going to sink your ship. Yeah, like when you're that. like trying to build a home and you're trying to do it for a cheap, like you don't want like, do you need fucking bricks to be laid down for your goddamn pillars? Do you need pillars? Do you need pillars? Do no. you know you don't fucking no. need? That's a cosmetic thing that's doing bullshit on your fucking pricing of your home. You just need a bare bones, right? Dude, if you, I'd be fine living in a fucking gray house. <laughs> That'd be so yeah. fucking sick. You could. It would be, but you could also, you could paint it yourself. You're right. That's true. You could paint it yourself. All you fucking need is like a good spray gun and just learn how to do spray paint, you know, like, true. and you're done, dude. Damn, what color would I do? I think I would have to like do like a, damn, I don't know. I'm fine with gray. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It's because your house looks so sad now. Your house yeah, looks I would, so I wouldn't <laughs> mind if it looked sad <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if I was painting less. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I just don't. Shit, I don't believe uh, all these though. You know what I mean? Like, two thousand square foot is insane. It's really not though. Two thousand square feet would be nice though. For fuck, that's so nice. Damn, <laughs> that's so nice. But that doesn't look real though. This is really more what I was thinking of. I feel you know that. what I mean? This is like I know it looks like a jail or a schoolhouse, but like, what else do you fucking need? You know? Like, I feel that. That's my house right now. This yeah. would be like one of the fucking, you know, like 2,000 square feet bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It this would is be. What I think and I wouldn't want that fucking siding. What are you doing siding for, you know? Sure. Like, I'd, I'd do that. For this sure. is so I'd nice. That. That's so That's nice. Right but I'm do you see there. how this is wood outli- outside? We I should watch like this they, video. I feel like they probably didn't. Uh, hmm. Damn, they still have like, is it wood? Damn, son. Dude, that's nice as fuck. I'm not I wish they lie. had a fucking better camera. That's, that's nice so nice. That's it. That's it, right that's there. it dude. <laughs> this, we, I so need a 3D printed home. Fuck, quit, dude. quit talking to me, dude. Show me the house. Dude, yeah. That is it. I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. Oh my God. I'm so fine with this. Quit talking. Dude, this is like some fucking Star Wars shit. Yeah. That shit is so dope. I love rounded edges too for rooms. That's so dope. I would want a circle room, you know? I would want a circle room too, honestly. Circle like a room? circled living room? Yeah. That's Wouldn't fire. that be fire, dude? That's so fire. I because like with and you know that's the great thing about these three D printed homes is that you asking for a round home that's built out of wood would cost a bajillion dollars. It would, you know what I mean? Like right. if you're building a 2,000 square ho- foot home and you're asking for a fucking 800 square foot round living room, it would be like, go fuck yourself. You know, right. like that's going to be like a six month project. But with the, that's, you're doing nothing different. You're just telling the God, the, the goddamn 3D printer just to go in a circle. Right. That's not complicated. Like I love this this is such a great solution. And I remember Kanye talking about um building homes with um building round homes. He was like such a big fan of like building round homes in 2020. He was like he was like I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be an urban designer. I'm going to be an urban planner. Like I'm making cities like but this is actually like the idea and fruition of like round like you can achieve round homes with this thing. And I'm such a fan of that. Such a goddamn fan of that. Because all you really have to do is like have vinyl like wrap around if you are gonna do siding. You know what I mean? You just need a pliable material that'll bend with right. the home and you're done, dude. Like you couldn't do metal, which is a shame. Yeah. But like I feel you, like know, you could do like a soft metals, yeah. yeah. You could do a soft metal, but you know, like, like a, a woodpecker is gonna get through that, but oh, yeah, but right. there's no woodpeckers in a concrete home. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm such a fan of this idea dude nothing's getting in there too for real no like, what's gonna fucking eat through your concrete there's nothing eats through concrete that's such a fucking and if you have a really good blend of concrete too like if it's like a really sturdy form like a sturdy mixture of con like if 
there's different grades of concrete you know like some concretes like um can like you know expand and contract like with the heat or like there's just like different um strengths in concrete right. if you pick the perfect blend Man, you really have a whole nose like withstand almost Hoover Dam ass house. Yes, dude. Yes, and it takes fucking centuries for it to dry in the center of it. (laughs) I would love this so much, dude. I feel like they have like, do they have a little loft or is that just like a like a decor ladder? I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll keep we'll keep looking. (laughs) What the fuck is that? Nuclear reactor, gas station looking house? Yeah, it does look like a gas station. Dude, what That's the so fuck? fucking cool, dude. That's so goddamn dude, cool. No way. And I apologize, guys, for the lag. I don't know why it's lagging, but dude, that's Man. so Oh, that's so cool. Jeez, that's so dope. But the you know, I bet the reason why these homes cost so much right now is because they don't have a hundred teams yet. Yeah. They just have three teams that are trying to like work it out. You know, work all the, like, kinks out of... Man, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful home. That's so beautiful. In that neighborhood, too. You look like you're the rich guy. Yeah. Na- oh, oh, my, my God. Jeez. That's so fucking Yo. nice. God Yo. damn, son. Ain't no way. I love this. Was that teak wood? Like that. Man. That's so fun. Holy fuck, dude. Oh, my God. I'm that's drooling over that hole, you know? That's it. That's it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> House zero. Okay, guys. Like, think you're so cool. They are cool. They are cool. They are sure. fucking cool. Though. God damn. <laughs> I've seen this home before. Have you seen? I feel like I, I showed this home before. If it's the guys. first one that we saw, then yeah. Yeah, I've seen this home before. Um, But yeah, dudes, that would be so dope, you know? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so fucking cool. I'd live oh there too. Oh my god. That's that seems even more bare bones. Yes. I don't like the how much wood they inserted on the last home because that seemed like expensive. Yeah. That home that we just saw was so fucking expensive, but this seems like it's that's could some you fucking dragon could you ball have Z a shit concrete right there. ceiling? Do you think that's possible? I don't think they do that. Let's be Why real. though? I feel like it, it's it too won't expensive? be able to support itself. Why you can you can do a second floor with a concrete pad on top? I don't know. Is it is that a typical thing? Like, is your ceiling like concrete or some shit? No, 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 no it's no, like no. wood, right? Yes, but with these homes, if you're doing a second floor, you add a second pad. Mm. You don't. I mean, you don't you add what scaffolding rebar for it and shit like that. I guess so. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be any better in the long term? Yeah. Because then It'll you wouldn't have. Th- the only risk is if your roof collapses. But does does that happen? But does your ro- does your second floor collapse in when a it's, concrete house? When a concrete house, does Zeus step on you? Like, did a fucking did a plane hit the ceiling? Did did a rock fall out of the sky? No. What about snow? Like, what if the snow is just like, no, no. Snow no. doesn't collapse a, a... Skyscraper or some shit, yeah. Snow doesn't collapse wood, dude. You're right. You know? Unless it's like rotted and shit. Unless it's a really compromised roof already. I guess so. I don't... I mean, you know? I'm not hearing anything about why can't you. There's why? nothing in my brain saying why not, except for... It the only thing is the risk of it collapsing, but why would it? I mean, I hate to go to like everything's a conspiracy, but like, what if, um, what if like the uh, the HOA is that the, is that what it is? The housing or no 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 it's the homeowners association, right? What if they require wood roofs because like you don't have to be in the HOA though, you know, if, like you don't have to. Uh, live somewhere with an HOA. That's true. That's very true. Especially if you're building a concrete house, you probably own your land. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Okay. All right. But I still would want a concrete roof, though, because how fucking dope would that be? I I wonder what they do for their roof and this concept. I don't know. Not even concept. It's a real thing. Yeah. I really want to see the inside. Ah, that's so silky, dude. That looks so fucking good. 
Man, it's huge too. It's not even. Oh, they do it in house and then they transport it. I would That's not. An option. I would That's not want to do that me. though. Really? What's going to happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? Instead of them bringing out all their expensive equipment on site. Okay, but you have to bring all the equipment. You still look at that fucking crane, dude. I mean, like, all right, all right. Maybe you're right. Maybe that would be cheaper. Dude, they're doing this in the same day. <laughs> It has not been night yet. <laughs> yeah. They moved all of them in one day. Damn, but the foundation is like separate on each piece, which is interesting. Yeah, I don't like that. I would like us an all-together slab. I guess that's what the, why they would bring it on site if it was an all-together slab. Yeah. Super cool, though. Dude, I want to see inside. Like, I know. Jesus. I'm filming at the mouth. You know how fucking insulated this motherfucker would be too like you you know how like um if you dig four or five feet into the ground it's always 65 degrees have you ever heard that before that's why they put like all the like water lines and all like interesting it's just it's always a regulated temperature Temperature. and so with this like if you kind of built it into the ground too and you have all concrete like i've had i lived in an all concrete home and it was always cool during the summer. I see. You know what I mean? Always cool during the summer. Because, like, the concrete just kind of, like, I don't know. It just, like, kind of, it's like an insulator almost. It's right. almost, like, acts like, it's, like, I don't know, like, rock bed. Yeah, you know? I feel you. It That's just feels lot. very cold, yeah. Just, like, and I'm such a big fan of that. Do you think it would get hot, like, to the touch during the summertime? Yeah, of course. Okay. Like everything does, you know. But like, it would take time for that heat to travel through. But it's not blacktop; it's yeah, concrete, it's not and con- and concrete doesn't get hot like that. Yeah, blacktop true. does for sure. Ooh. That's so fucking nice. Yeah, I I fuck at that shit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I can do I can do that. I and mean, I feel 100%. like um, not this is better than my living situation now. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, so sure. much more room. Oh my god! And they put um. That's what I was thinking about the whole time. Is like, how could you decorate it without having bare? But honestly, I think bare concrete's not that bad. It's really not oh that bad. God. That's yes, so dude. cool. That's so fucking cool. What else do you need? You don't need anything you else. You don't need anything else. Do they, do they show? I wonder if they show the bathroom. They have multiple rooms in there too. Like, yeah. Geez. Like that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good bedroom. Wow. Oh my god just sign me up for one dude like i'll take a free house i'll you take know? a free house too. I, let me be a just test me a dummy one. Yeah. one bedroom yeah one bath let me be living room bathroom that's it that's uh, truly awesome i would love to have one of these homes what we gotta watch this one too <laughs> this is so crazy dude this oh is what they need God. on mars oh my wow do you see that pattern they're fucking doing you know how fucking strong that would be? Saying, dude, this is like wow, some Star Wars super sci-fi Mars Martian building techniques right here. Wow, he literally has a Death Star on his shirt. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look for a second. This is super cool. I really like the pattern that they did for this Imagine one. Imagine if someone showed you their house and that was it. Right? Wouldn't you be like, yo? I'd be geeking. Mm-hmm. I know. Especially, like, watching this house get built. Wouldn't that be so fucking cool? Imagine if they gave you the video. Like, the time lapse and the drones. Right. I would set up some cameras just to have mm-hmm. that recording. Yeah. Put Fucking frame it. Have, like, a <laughs> frame, digital frame and have it always constantly <laughs> playing. <laughs> the, the building of it? Yeah. yeah that would right be here. really cool. That would be really fucking cool. Man, that's fucking dope. That is so dope. That's so dope. Man, the way the sun's rays hits it, too. Yeah. Makes that nice shadow. They really made a funky scaffolding to block this thing, though, too. I wonder why they did that. It's like movie ready. like. Man, that's how they mix their concrete. That's interesting. Wow. Dude, that's so dope. That's so fucking cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. I would be okay with this. You know what I mean? I would be so okay with that. 
And if you just had a glass ceiling that just like, and it has a natural slope that just like flows all the Dude, water. They did the uh, concrete ceiling on this, on that one. Did they really? Yeah, because they're going all the way up on it. I don't think so. I don't, don't think, think so. so. No, I think. What do you think they put at the top then? Glass. I don't think they put glass. How would you feel about that? How would you like? Like, let's say it was too bright for you. Do they have like vines for that? I feel like there's these expensive types of glass that um, could be shaded by a press of a button. I see. Through like like this glass almost has like a film that goes either on the bottom or the, probably on the bottom. That, that um that like yeah it connects to electricity somehow you press a button and it just immediately goes black that makes like sense. just like a, a electronic shader fair of some sort i bet they have some type of like f- thin film that goes on the bottom that fills up with this like resistance this light resistance that's thing fair. that doesn't seem too complicated i agree you know that's, that's dope yeah man so cool. I would really fucking love that home because like security, man, you really got to think about security sometimes. And like, Dude, I would have like a, a steel door, like yeah. no one's getting in then. No, but like when you have a glass ceiling, somebody's going to get into that. Like, come on. Ooh, you're right. You know, like somebody could just, I mean, you could get in. like some bulletproof, like glass, you know, glass yeah, super that, strong glass that can't be shattered by like 1200 pounds of pressure of you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. You could do that, but you have no windows that is too, true. but like you have the skylight, that's yeah. something, you know? So, but you won't be able to see your surroundings. If, if you did a little octagon home too, like that, that would be pretty fire. Man, there's so many yeah, options. Yeah, that would be pretty fire. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, could you imagine having four floors and it's not that difficult? I would not, I would not go for the floors. I really? like having everything on one level. Yeah, like sure. sure. I don't like stairs. You don't like stairs? I do not like stairs. It makes things difficult. It makes Plumbing. furniture difficult. Yeah, furniture and laundry. Laundry's difficult. But if you have a laundry chute. That'd be fire. Laundry chutes are pretty cool. Um, elevators. Ooh. Ele- an outside elevator would be pretty cool. That's I'd a lot, though. For your cheap, you know, affordable living situation, having yeah. an elevator. It's very true. It's very true. But yeah, you could have scaffolding outside, I guess. For sure, you could do that. That would be fire. Yeah, just like uh, like a metal scaffolding just that just like off, chill. Yeah, and you could just like uproot it when it's like rusted out, or you want to replace it. You just uproot it, and like as a separate slab, and then you just replace it. <laughs> Man. Fucking Lego house. I know. Seriously, God, like this is some interesting concepts. I love that. Honestly, like I love that that home. That's that was super pretty fire. cool. Yeah, you can get out of the reaction. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just like peep at the uh, peep at the streams for a second. Um, how you doing? doing how you great. doing? You doing well? You doing well? Okay, okay. Damn, good camera. They fuck with the camera. Damn, good camera. Thank you, homie. Thank you, homie. Been lots of w- done, lots of work, done, lots of work to make it look okay. Uh. We're running. <clears throat> oh, what's the live look like? Cool. We got the two chairs. Oh, is that the backpack kid? That's such they an got insult. You, bro. That, that's such an insult. They fucking it's interesting. Got you. That's interesting. Um, are you still doing the auto like? Is that what? Yep. Is, is that yes, what that, that is? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I was trying to scroll over, but I can't. Rest in peace. Um. I know. I know. You want to go back on another video? Unless sure. you got a topic. You I, got a topic? I have a little bit. A little bit. What, what's, the, what's your topic? Actually, let's watch your, uh, your Band-Aid video. It seems super interesting. So I have... The, if we're going to enter into it, it's nature content then. Okay. Okay. My nature content is just like survival. You know, right. like how... If society ends... I've been really thinking about this a lot. You know, how much do I depend on society? And I depend on society a lot. Okay. About food water, you know, basic necessities. Right. And so, but if I had, if shit just ends, you know, and you have to be, and you're stuck in the wilderness, you have nothing, you have nothing but your, but your body. You know what I mean? Can you do it? Can you survive? 
And I'm gonna so, need some people. To be able to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna need I'm gonna an need ability like to people. hunt. I need the be- uh, the ability to hunt. I need a good water container. You know, a water container that's easy to clean, easy to sanitize, and easy to like. Yeah, and then also like, I just need to be warm. How do I say this? I just need the ability to some like a tarp, two tarps. That's it. That's all I need. Two tarps. I just need the ability to have make some type of tent. You know what I mean? And so like I need to be able to have a ground and a tent and boom, done. I'm like I'm good and have some water and I have the ability to hunt. It seems like I checked off a lot of things. You know? I think for me, I would need like. I'm used to go by like skills that people would have. I would need someone, yeah, for hunting that's mm-hmm. like strong and good at killing shit. Mm-hmm. And then I think I would need like clever. You need cleverness too, right. just to you know. Okay, sorry. And then I need ahead. like someone that's smart and that can like go on your goddamn fuck. camera, You're right? <laughs> someone that's smart and that can uh, like bio knows about uh, biology mm-hmm. and I'd say chemistry as well. Mm-hmm. That can like. Grab and micro things and make shit. Microbiology too. For sure, that's a big one. Like all the germs. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to sanitize something. Mm-hmm. And, and if you have bad meat too, how to cook it out. Right. Or like, things like that. Yeah. They pick good meat. You know, maybe sometimes the part of the animal has a bad slab of meat, but then on the other side of the animal, there's good slab of meat. Like the ability to like recognize that kind of stuff. For sure. Yeah. Uh, and then I think the last thing I would need is someone that's like crafty. Yes. Someone that can like knows how to tie a knot. Knows how mm-hmm. to do like. The little niche skills mm-hmm. knows how to fucking make clothes, mm-hmm. shit like that. How to cut wood, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. That can teach us like technique, you know. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, a brain smart person, someone that can just like brawny, and then mm-hmm. someone that has like hella technique. Yeah, I think engineer. That, you need a fucking engineer to build homes too. Like honestly, it's not. Lot. It wouldn't be that hard to like figure out. Like if the world ends, but like Lowe's is untouched you know ooh yeah you know <laughs> like and you could like get all the concrete in the world together to be able to like make a slab and then to be able to like you know have boards you know put the boards in to be able to make make a home then you have to think about like how long you're going to work on this home you probably a good mean? year you probably need a good year or you know two. how long how much time do you have until winter yeah yeah Shit well like that's that. why you have a temporary home to get you through winter right and then you have a home that's your like main goal you know what i mean like I you struggle a little with like the cold nights but you're like i'm building that home up, up top that hill that's gonna last forever you right. know what i mean for my children's children children to bunk out like to have a bunker there you Fair. know what i mean like yeah, I feel like you need both lear- like short-term and long-term goals if you're going to be able to survive out in the winter like that. Sure. So, yeah. And yeah. also like medicine, you know? Yeah. Getting clean water is really priority number one. You know? True. Clean water is fucking number one. And then like clean food and then shelter. I mean like... There's so much with water now. Like, I feel like back in the day, water was easier to clean than it is now with all the factories and shit dumping all these fucking, this fucking shit. So if like, if it ended now, like we weren't able to do anything. Yeah. And with like, if society like collapsed and shit and you did have to like get your own water, Mm -hmm. it would be tremendously difficult to like be able to filter everything like how they're doing now like you went to yeah. the cincinnati water works with me right and you saw how much shit they were doing so by my trillionth they're trying to do a yeah like parts per trillion parts per trillion yeah because trying they're at parts per bacteria. parts per billion but before but the parts per trillion now is where all the like the microplastics are at yeah and so PFAS, and, and, and the pfas yeah sure yeah it's fucked it's so fascinating yeah and they're doing all this stuff to get rid of that but like there's no way you and I on our own are going to be able to filter out bacterias even in the parts per million. That would be difficult as fuck for us. Parts per million would be very difficult, very difficult. But I think if we if we had, you know, a property to stay on, if we had safety and, f- like, if we had all the basics down and, like, then we were starting to, like, uh, build upon, like, okay, now we have to have, like, cattle and like goats and chickens and and crops year round and then like we forget that one out then like just like really trying to tackle the big like on like to get everything perfect into like the range of comfortability 
the water thing, we could probably figure out parts per... Man, I guess you're right. Parts per million is a really difficult one, you know? Parts per billion is impossible by yourself. It is impossible. That's impossible by yourself. But parts per million is pretty damn near impossible for yourself, too. I think you, you really... The only option really is groundwater right that you know that is a way to filter your water it's through the ground yeah we're we're close to the river yeah so like if you were to uh dig out a hole near the river and you let like the trees naturally filter out that'll help you get rid of a lot of stuff i think that's what i would do yeah and i probably have like instead of like just the dirt maybe i'll put in some charcoal sure You you could heat up charcoal we can make a kennel yeah we could heat up our charcoal to reactivate it sure and uh well, we yeah, let's, use that as a filter let's get you know what let's uh let me show you that then because that yeah. one, that's part of my video actually and then i think from there i'll just distill my water i wouldn't go any more crazy because that, that gets rid of your bacteria i'm gonna crush this charcoal solids. into a powder the finer it's ground up the yeah i apologize for good, good. the opening of this bottle with a napkin or you can plug it with a cattail seed head or a piece of clothing what does he have right now moss. then i'll fill up the bottle with the charcoal with a cat up oh. can we start it no, i'm gonna no, restart I'm it guys now. i'm sorry guys i'm gonna crush this charcoal into a powder the finer it's ground up the better it'll work i'll plug the opening of this bottle with a napkin or you can plug it with a cattail seed head or a piece of clothing or even moss then i'll fill up the bottle with the charcoal dust the next one i'll fill up with gravel but this one i'll leave the cap on with a small hole in it then i'll put fine sand in the third bottle with a hole in the cap in this one as well i'll need my water to filter through each one of these bottles now we're going to test this out by running some really nasty muddy water through it bigger debris will get filtered that's out so genius the gravel. finer particles will get doing filtered out right. through the sand and mostly anything that's left should get filtered out through the charcoal including chemicals but it won't work perfectly Perfectly. This water will still need to be boiled after it's filtered. But yeah, it definitely exactly cleared up the water. Look how good that looks, too. I mean, I know it doesn't look perfect, but like, and this is the next video I have of it too, which is actually I really like this one too. But you're having a lot of supplies. You can filter muddy water. This is one of them, and it's pretty cool how it works. The water will wick through it, leaving most of the sediment behind. Pretty slow process though, and the paper towel seems to wick a lot faster than the toilet paper. And then filter it a second time. It clears up the water even more. And all this really does is filter out sediment. It won't filter out any harmful microorganisms. So now to be sure that it's safe to drink you'll have to boil it i don't believe in just boiling boiling it i feel like you really have to collect the vapor yes you really do have to collect the vapor and that vapor then you have to have a cascade on a really clean surface that surface can't be a bullshit surface you know what i mean like and also like i always wonder like you've been really talking to me about carcinogenics you know carcinogenics Everything's a fucking carcinogen, and there's so many carcinogens. But like, carcinogen, got, got a reaction. But like, um, my my point is with that is that if the smoke is hitting the is hitting the vapors, I see. You know saying. what I mean? Yeah, what is that? What is a what smoked water? No, so the so the vapor that's coming out of the pot that's just water vapor. No but shit. The, the shit from the charcoal underneath that's cooking it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's probably pretty harmful. That's like CO2, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You don't want to be drinking carbon, flat water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not flat water, but whatever. Yeah, you, don't yeah. want, you don't want that smoke in there. You don't want smoky vapor. So I think that vapor. what you have to do is like you have your pot mm-hmm. and then you have something that directly connects to the pot and then... Air sealed it almost. Damn near. But that's like dangerous. You know what I mean? That could make a bomb. As long as you relieve the pressure like a yeah. tea kettle, you just have to release the pressure like a That's tea true. kettle. And so, like, I think you could honestly make a pot where, so, like, the base, the base holds, like, the water, all right? And then it has, like, a little, almost like a, a cap that funnels up into, almost like, a, um, like those hourglasses, you know how, like, okay. it funnels up into that? And then you could have it, like, collect the uh, steam collect on the sides and then run down. Right. right i guess you could loot like maybe you could have it like something like that mm-hmm. but you would have like, then a pot ho- right and then you'd have one that's open to the air yes and it ext- it spits out steam like a like a like a tea kennel like you can't saying. have it spit out the steam you gotta have it spit out the hot air you know what i mean i feel like for uh, the scenario that we're in we're gonna have to lose some steam <sighs> 
man, that's so but I, I do think there's a better way to do it. But I think that's probably that's like honestly, you, you can make like a little pot. One that like just spits out steam, so no smoke gets into your system. Yeah, and then you have like one that collects the steam as you, well. We could do this. We could coin this like piece of material and we you know just what talked would about. Help? What if you like uh, get get some uh, ice and yeah. you put it on the part that's like collecting water? This like water vapor will gravitate more towards that area to become water. How we how we get ice. Cold water? Fuck. How we getting how we getting good ass ice? Fuck, dude. dude. How are we getting ice? Is this winter time? Damn. We don't have problems in the winter time with how water. How do you make fucking ice? Damn, I never thought about that. Damn. Yeah, dude. Ice is a big one because dude, ice you I never, need you need ice, dude. Imagine if you get injured and you need an ice pack or some shit. Ice is a really hard one to have without like you need something to like you need a chemical reaction to be able to create ice without Without electric, without a fr- like Fuck. a fridge, fr- like I don't, yeah, you're yeah. gonna need like a cold a uh, vapor, like some substance maybe. Like I'm just thinking about uh, a cellar. You need a cellar too, you know, just in case of like this. I don't, I'm yeah. thinking about like liquid nitrogen. Like mm. it's generally more cold. Mm-hmm. And it it would like barely be room temperature. Mm-hmm. But then you're like, it's like, how the fuck are you gonna get liquid nitrogen? Right. Hmm. That's an interesting concept. I, I know. About that. How the fuck do you make ice How? without electricity? You can't, dude. Not, and ice is a luxury. Ice is a luxury. Ice dude. is a luxury, and you can only have ice in the winter time. You know, at that time, like you're gonna have to go crazy <sighs> saving as much ice as possible. I know. I know. <sighs> such a bummer. It's such and a there's bummer. no way to get like salt water and that becomes ice. No, it just no, doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. No, man. I know. I know. I know. That's a task right there. Yeah. Uh, survival is a really interesting thing. And so like we're, we're our ability to survive. I think is probably the most shit out of all the generations before us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like it really fascinates me if I could, I think Adapt. you could make ice. Um, think about it. I think so. I think that. So what? What is it? Oh, fuck! You would need like refrigerant, wouldn't you? You just need under thirty-two degrees with clean water that has no salt in it. If you have, it I'm has thinking, salt in it, it needs to be zero degrees. What I'm thinking right now is, mm-hmm. you have a fan that's powered by, like, charcoal or some shit. Okay. Okay. You could even have it powered by a river. Sure. Hydro, what is it? Hydroelectric? Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah. But I feel like you need like some form of refrigerant as well, you know, to like make sure that the air is cold. Mm-hmm. You need a really good breeze. So you just achieve that with the fan. Now you need a really cold material, like almost like a steel or a rock or like you need something to like have house the surface of the ice correct right so like now you got steel okay i don't know i don't know how this is gonna work man i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to look around and just research figure that one out that's really interesting i have not thought about how to create ice without electricity right that's such an interesting one it's for sure Uh, okay okay well here this is this was the other one that i was a big fan of And, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, do I need this? This is just how to make a fire. So it uses Vaseline. Petroleum jelly. Yeah. Some Sawdust. shavings. Yeah. Man. Is he about to make, like, the torch that stays on forever? I think so, yeah. I think he does. Oh, wow. That's really interesting. Yeah, and he never shows how long it lights, but I thought that was fucking fascinating. That's I didn't know petroleum, you can catch that on fire. I feel like it's the, the wood inside like catches it on fire. Okay. And like the petroleum's like an oil. So like, like a wax almost? Yeah. yeah and sure. I feel like it will it will catch fire, but it has to be like really hot. Sure. 
Okay. That's interesting now. That's really yeah. interesting. I thought that was really cool actually because like that seems like a great solution for like a a tor- yeah, like a torch. You need something to, like, you know. See, yeah. You need, it's a flashlight. I, yeah, it Natural is a flashlight. flashlight. It's one of the most ancient flashlights out there, you know. Cuz there's no way Costco right that, now. Oh, This shit. one's dangerous. This one's <laughs> Go ahead. What? There's no way that you're going to be able to walk around with a fucking stick on fire. That's just like literally a stick on fire. Yeah, it doesn't work like yeah. that. You need like a you need a material. You need like, yeah. So, you could I feel like he could substitute like if you were in the scenario where you didn't have petroleum jelly, you could probably substitute it for like fats. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because those like whale oil, sure. that was a big. You know, how the fuck are you gonna kill a whale? I'm just saying. That back in the day, back fair, in the fair. day, that's what they would used to use is whale oil. That was like a big commodity. Fair. That's what the stock market used to be based off of was whale oil prices. I did not know that. I that's thought so. Yeah, we should we should check that one out because I I might have just bullshitted. Whale oil prices. How much is whale oil? Whale oil myth. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm. The idea of petroleum jelly in free market. Uh, but I'm still I'm just saying that like whale oil stocks were what created the stock market. Interesting. I don't know. He's a liar. I know. He's a liar. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. <laughs> this is what business? What uh business? Made stock market. Hmm. Was the first publicly traded company. This doesn't really help me though. Yeah. You know? But I really I really thought the economy of the stock market was based off of, you know, whale oil prices, but but the Dutch East India Company was the first company to ever be, you know, traded. publicly traded yeah. in 1602, which is fucking crazy. That's crazy. 1602 making stocks, like, dude. But yeah, yeah. Back to should have bought. I should have bought in. <laughs> back then, back in the day when it was so cheap. <laughs> should have fucking bought in. <laughs> oh man, um, I'm trying to see if there's. Yeah, that's tough. We should end it on that one. Um, this is the a good bandage. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Haven't is cool. Seen that yet. This is pretty cool. Um, uh, you know, healthcare is probably a big issue too. If you're fucking out in the middle of the woods and you don't yeah. know how to, we stick a bandaid sure. in the northern forest. Yeah. Number one, balsam fur sap is the original liquid bandaid. <laughs> you can sometimes find the droplets in the outside Man. of the bark. And that's so but funky. Oftentimes it's you'll like a little, little blisters in the bark, and the <laughs> sap will shoot out. Balsam fur sap is easy to apply on a cut and is antiseptic. You can also Ooh. combine balsam fur sap with usnea for a more complete bandage. Number two, usnea is an abundant lichen that can be used as a bandage. It also has antiseptic and antibiotic properties. It is best to get usnea wet because it would be more flexible as a band-aid. Usnea is also known as the old man's beard and can often be found dangling from tree branches. To identify usnea, gently pull it apart to reveal a white inner cord. Number three, birch polypore is another great band-aid material Imagine you can find you in the Imagine you picked the wrong mushroom. This mushroom is found growing on birch trees like the name suggests. Cut the underside of a fresh birch polypore with a knife. Carefully peel a thin layer of the pore surface off. Then you can wrap it around your finger. When the pore surface is fresh, it is naturally adhesive. That's it is also antibacterial and strangely antifungal. Antifungal, huh? Isn't that so funny? What the fuck? Antifungal and it's naturally adhesive. Huh? Fucking... They knew what they were making. <laughs> I know. They knew what they were fucking making. <laughs> I know the programmer program was made <laughs> of biology, dude. <laughs> this is a program. <laughs> I know, right? Fuck. <laughs> and they just popped a pimple of a tree and they're like, that's Neosporin. <laughs> <laughs> On God, like, what the fuck? I know. It's like, that shit's so funny to me. That shit's so funny to me. <sighs> And I, I was, I really liked the moss idea too. Like that's yeah. a great because like the the sap will stick to the moss and the moss will stay there. Like 
Like saps, tree sap is some seriously sticky stuff. It is. You know, if you ever have like a Christmas tree or you go touch a pine cone, your fingers are fucking sticky you to the have max. To go back to your crib and wash your hands for sure. For a million times. Yeah. For a goddamn million times. And then you're still sticky until tomorrow. Hands are still like black. Yeah, you get like little residues yeah. and like, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I thought that was so cool. This is this is the ender of it, and this might right. be you know, guys. This is this some is just a regular no, 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 Energizer no, 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 no. lithium. No, 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 no. Ooh, no, no, I've no, seen no. this video. This video? Yeah, I know what happens when you unroll a lithium battery. Expose yeah. it to some water. Yeah. Household bomb. It is quite literally that. But we're gonna. Sh- I'm gonna show you this because this was fucking terrifying. Because oh, like, boy. damn. And this is some explicit content, so I apologize, guys, if it scares you a little bit. Like, come on, dude. Oh my god, that's terrible. Ugh. Oh my god. I know. What the fuck? Dude, and it's just walking around like that. Doesn't feel it or anything. I'm sure it feels it. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure he feels it. I agree. What the fuck would do that to it? Ill noise. Damn. Did you like fucking fall like to a rock? I don't know. From like 100 feet in the air? I don't know how you get scalped like that. Like his back got fully scalped. It did. Like. That's disgusting. God. I just don't know, Kahayam. There is a fucking skinwalker out there or something. I like know. some Bigfoot type shit. Like, mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Yeah. That's I know. disgusting. That's some that's some crazy stuff right there. Oh my god. I know, I know. That's why I was Dude, like if I was, explicit content, you know what I'm saying? If I was in like fucking survival type mm-hmm. shit and I saw that, right. I would be fucking scared. I'd shit my pants. Because I'd mm-hmm. be like, what the fuck did that to that? Who got him? Right, like who got him? Gonna, is that shit gonna come for me? You, you know got, I mean? you got to do the, you got to change the cameras, man. But yeah, I, right. <laughs> Who's gonna do that to me? Absolutely. Who's the bigger predator? Who's the biggest fish? Right. Where's the biggest fish in the forest? You know. Yeah. And like, yeah. And obviously, people are like, there's no fish in the forest. Well, I get it. It's just a fucking metaphor. But yeah, still, like, where is the goddamn bear that missed? Yeah. The kill, but still scalped the entire back of the goddamn deer. That's terrifying. He's still hungry, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's he what didn't I would get be. to eat that one. He he's didn't gonna eat me. He's going to eat me, dude. Yeah. I, I, what do you do? What do you do? Like, what do you do? I think, I think, honestly, I just hope I have a my 3D printed you know, home that has like no glass anywhere. <laughs> it's just purely natural light somehow, Jeez. but just, but then just spikes everywhere. Oh my house, God. That's hilarious. Know? If you're Sasquatch at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Trying to get in, trying to eat you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Hmm. To do you share for you okay, these okay. last couple of minutes? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should end by two thirty. Sure. Are you cool with that? Oh, I'll find you somehow. I think you're at the bottom. You the know that I gotta list. say that guy who was like converting plastics to right. um, diesel fuel and um, and regular gasoline. He's a weird dude. He's a weirdly aggressive dude. What do you mean by that? He's just an aggressive content creator. Like, I just feel like he's aggressive. Like, just in his, like, he's like, bitch, like, get him. I don't even know how to describe him. Like Kendrick Lamar type shit energy? (sighs) Yeah, I guess. It's like, it's like he's the smartest one in the class. I see. But he's angry that he's the smartest one in the class. You know what I mean? Like, like. Against like the teacher, against the teacher and the kids, and he's like, "Yeah, you guys aren't smart. What are you guys doing? You right. guys gonna do this? Yeah, the fuck? he's just like he's such an ass. Like I don't mean I'm like a Ben Shapiro figure. Like a Ben Shapiro figure. He's like he's just a little sharp with it, you know. I see. And I'm not genius. Comes in many different forms. You know, and sometimes when you're the genius, it affects you differently. That's fine. Like I don't, I'm not mad at him. You know, I'm not here being like I don't like it. He's a cool guy. He's really, he's doing cool shit. 
right. you know i don't know if he's a cool guy but he's doing cool shit and so like i you know i'll give him the like leeway of him being an asshole but like he's kind of an ass- i don't know i just been catching this content recently. i feel like a lot of smart people are, are assholes and i think that he I don't, I don't want to say he's allowed to be, but I feel like he's trying to like solve a problem where there's like even more asshole asshole prob- people right. in front of him. Like right. he has to like fight mm-hmm. to be able to like push his solution. Yeah, like people and are, his channel's called Nature Jab. I just had to say that. Like Nature Jab is who we're talking about. Right. Go ahead. So he, I feel like you know he's going up against like someone that makes plastic and he's like hey stop making fucking plastic products switch to like aluminum or something what the fuck are you doing mm-hmm. you know he's gonna have to be like aggressive or some shit trying to take down multi-million dollar businesses mm-hmm. and shit like that trying to go after like marathon like yeah. why are you fucking fracting why are you drawing fucking oil from the earth you can make it from plastic what are you doing yeah 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 like he, and also no way. also like if he if he is able to if he's able to do that if he's able to take all the plastic on earth and create into oil diesel fuel and oil and and gasoline then the next problem is how to take co2 in the air that has low energy low energy co2 and then like taking it out of the sky and putting it into like a solid form right you know like that would be the next part of like you have to like everything's a circle right Right. and like all the energy on earth like can't create or destroy energy right you can only convert it right and so it's like okay so if you if you're taking all the plastic and converting into gasoline which we run all our cars on gasoline and all our like major shit on motors then like our gasoline fed motors then you got to figure out what to do with the emissions of everything right like that's the next problem i think honestly i've been thinking about it yeah go ahead Man, I think that we could change that goddamn ah, camera. Oh, God. So hard, it's so no, hard. No, no, I'm, no. I'm lost in my thoughts. I think that so we're. Ta- I think I talked to you about like strippers and absorbers one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how yeah, you yeah, could yeah. Like convert different gases and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's ways to convert that low energy. It's like it's not like there's not a solution out there. Right. Sure. It's just that it's not viable. Mm-hmm. Either it won't do enough and the time that we need it to or it's like costly or people don't see profit in it Mm -hmm. high energy yeah people are probably just like no i'm not fucking losing millions of dollars to save the planet fuck that billions of dollars i'm not losing yeah trillions probably yeah yeah Yeah. but i feel like if we did like some something simple like put something in cars Mm -hmm. that could like i mean we have catalytic converters already but like yeah if you could have something that like not only converts the gases in the car but the gases out around and outside the car to like oxygen or something better than co2 yeah that would be helpful that'd be cool that'd be cool i remember um hydrogen cars right coming out and the the um the thing that would come out of the exhaust would be water right which is like i don't know where i think it's just hard to have like hydrogen everything's compressed yeah you know everything like it would take a little more education to have everybody safe when they're like clipping their goddamn like hydrogen um, pumps. Right. And like if you if you don't have a good connection, it explodes on you because it's you know it has um just like it's airtight. What's the word for it? It's it's under not, pressure. So I guess it's just under pressure. Yeah. yeah, and it loses pressure and explodes. Like you just can't have that kind of shit. And so. And I think it was just it was just hard to collect like a lot of hydrogen for fuel. And right. so I could see that. I don't know, man. I wonder what I wonder what the future the holds future for that. Holds. Yeah. Oh man, you have more of this guy? No, no, no. It's a PCC sixty nine. Oh, did I not make it public? Make it public right now. Do it public shit. right now. I'll, I'll do know. it right now. Uh, I'll check the I'll check it the other i'll check our chat um, is that the backpack yeah it's not i'm not the backpack kid i'm not the backpack kid sorry my god we got i love how my phone's not loading um hey guys hey current viewers how you doing we're doing so good you know what i'm saying we're about to end on two hours you know what I'm ah saying? come on youtube just oh, load please there it man. is there we go 
It's loading. I hope you guys like the setup. We got a little more viewers than last time, which is awesome. And like, you know, there it is. we only got 23 concurrent viewers. Like, what are you doing, guys? Like, why don't you stay around a little longer? That's funny. We start talking about gas. Right. And we're like, Shouldn't nope, get out of <laughs> here. You talking about gasoline? Like, get the Saving fuck out of here. Saving the environment. This shit's so Jayden boring. <laughs> All right, you got your, you got your thing ready? It is public. All right, I'm reloading. We're going to do PC69. It's not public. It is public. It's probably down there. All right, all right. I all promise. Right. I promise, man. I promise. It's just right there. It's just, it's just not right there. It's just... It was down for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing it. What the fuck? Come on, internet. Come on, internet. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a playlist, and then we're going to go out of that, and then back to yours. Okay. It's right, for me, it's right underneath. Mm-hmm. 21. PCC 21. It says public. Just like, can you send how me a link I, somehow? Yeah, how would I do that? What's the send best me a option? Link. Send me a link. Well, send me a link. How do you want me to send it to you? Through my email, Through I guess. Email. I, I guess. Are you sure it's public? Like yeah, for sure. You're fucking positive. You're fucking positive. It's. I mean, you don't have to send it to me. I just need to be able to pull it up. Yeah, you I understand know? what you're saying. Maybe I'll put it in the uh, in the chat. That'd Is be that good. Cool? Yeah, yeah. Put the yeah. Put the URL in the chat. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Bam. It's, it's in, in there. YouTube. So if you guys want to watch some of the content that we'll be reacting to, no, it is here. No, 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 no. We're watching it. <laughs> We're watching it live. Oh, God. You yeah, got, I got some, some scary shit, shit. Dude. So which one are you going to start on? Let's start on, this, on the second one. This one. This one. Yeah. Okay. This is some cringe shit. I know we've all had some cringe conversations I before. I just went to go see a show, and um, I've been in a theater before, and, like, I didn't really have any problems, but I walked in, and they immediately were like, they stopped me, and they wouldn't let me go in. I was like, what? And they were like, sorry, ma'am, we don't have handicapped seating. And I was <laughs> like, I was like, what? Like, I'm not handicapped. And they're like, great googly moogly good heavens that ass is too fat to see in our chairs and i was like oh my gosh no oh because this has like happened at other theaters before right yet? and like you know it's like crazy and they're just like yeah like we can't have you sit in our chairs because they're gonna break and you might fall through the floor i was like oh no and like i'm just really tired like i wanted to spread awareness about this issue because like this this is like kind have you of had some bullshit conversations and, like, like this it's really gotten to a point where i can't deal with it anymore like <laughs> like my fat juicy voluptuous booty cheeks like just can't people love to hype themselves up you know what i'm saying that shit's crazy. i love to hype myself up too and to be honest like but like sometimes 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 people just drink their own kool-aid you know people drink For their sure. own kool-aid and sometimes I'm gonna let my cat in. Sometimes people get one one compliment from an okay looking person, and they run with it. Go God, I love when people run with it because it's like, hey, are you not cool? Just wait till you see the next one. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Just wait, dude. Come on, come on. Welcome. Uh, okay. Welcome, right. Ruby. Ruby has entered the building. <laughs> Ruby Casanova. I think you, it would just be a scroll up. Yeah, but I just wanted to make sure, you know. Okay, we're okay. Yes, sir. I hope I paused it. Damn, I should have got the other one too. I should have got is the other one. Is it on one. their channel? It is, but it's not worth their time. All right, all right, all right, all right. Are you, get, are you ready? I'm born ready. I'm born ready. Oh, man, I dude, get I ready. hate the Eminem album too. Fucking. <laughs> What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Do 
I have to watch this? Yes, you have to suffer through the cringe. <laughs> Guys, he's making us suffer through the cringe. Why? Oh, God. Man, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't, I can't do, do it. Either. I can't do it. But I understand. That is super true, though, that like people really do get like fucking so hung up about... like Some bullshit. Some, some nonsense. Like... You know, have like, you seen the fucking Gen X stand up shit? No, what's that mean? You like, should probably look it up on YouTube. Gen X stand up, bro. That shit is crazy. That shit is so crazy, dude. I don't know if they're trolling. It's like this. Like she just gets obviously this. What's what, okay? Oh damn. Well, how am I supposed to find this? Like mm, it should have been like recent. It's supposed to be. Oh, I guess there's a comedy show called Gen X stand up. But um, it's just based off of Eminem's song. He has a bar where he's like, Gen X, rise up. Maybe you should, you should say rise up. Rise uh, up? Eminem. Maybe that'll... Yeah. Okay. Am I supposed to put like... <sighs> <laughs> I, I think you're getting where I'm laying down. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's getting what I'm laying down. Oh, what am I supposed to find though? Like, you know what I mean? What I, I think that might be it. This, this is, this is a good one. I think it should be. It should Hopefully be. Hopefully, there's no reaction. It's got eight likes, dude. It's got eight Damn. likes. I can't. I want to see it. his, him doing his shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I want to see his TikTok, not <sighs> someone fucking a fit. Go Just, to shorts. I'm sure you can find one. Just don't like this. So you Guys, obviously saw that filter. So they have like a filter they're putting on their face. Yeah. Is this is this a good one? This is a no, good I don't think, one. I don't think so. Mm, keep going. Let's just see. Just not we finding find the it. video that you want, you God, know? Damn. It's just not it's happening. everywhere. How can we not find it on YouTube? Because YouTube has really been... Wait, YouTube's been weird recently. And their searches have been really fucking spotty. Okay. I, you know what we're going to have to do? Oh, oh, uh, yes. Mm, no, nah, nah, mm, I won't hit it. That's AI. Fuck. Yeah, it's the same face. Let's go to, uh, let's search that again and just click the first video. I think that would be it. A good, uh, it's a reaction. This video? Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, just so we can get the grass. We don't need to watch the whole thing. Yeah, we'll have to, yeah, get out of that. So. Um, I don't want to explain it too much. I, I understand. Like takes away from it. It does take it away from it. I understand that. Um, yeah. I, I Have you listened to Eminem's recent album? I have not. I haven't been listening to Eminem for real. I, have you ever listened to Eminem? I have, but I feel like it's just not the same anymore. No. Like, I feel like his bars were hard as fuck back in the day. I mm-hmm. fucking loved it. I still mm-hmm. do enjoy it. Yeah, sure. But like... It's just not hitting the same. Yeah. I you feel know? like it's kind of like forced now by him. Yeah. He kind of forces it. And I feel like he's trying to like, he's trying to be who he was back in the day. But it's like, no, dude, you should just like let be yourself you, be yeah. you. Yeah. You don't have to be like, you don't have to attach yourself to like who you were 20 years ago. You right. really don't. You can just evolve. Just let yourself be yourself. I agree. Like, I just feel like I remember saying this um, when Kendrick and Drake were beefing, but I feel like Kendrick's doing the same route where he's changing his flow and he's like changing how he raps. And it's like kind of feeling like Eminem's change. And like so you feel like he's trying to go back to how he was before. He's just trying to be somebody different or he's like trying to just like age well, but he's not aging well, you know? Uh, we got to see the Gen X. Yeah, right there, right there. Okay. I'm sure there's a couple clips. Okay. Is this Gen X Rise? What does this consist of? Well, mostly something that looks like this. Gen X Rise. I saw this video. I was Gen like, there's X no way he's doing the Wakanda, where, where, Wakanda forever. I mean, this is just nonsense, yeah, though, right? This is just nonsense. They're being I like like so serious to. about it, though. Like, the adults are, like, actually feeling like they're empowered by, like, Eminem's fucking album and shit. Yeah. It's insane. It's funny. The only thing, the only time we can find these videos is when a gay guy is reacting to them. <laughs> <And> that's 
<laughs> and that's not YouTube. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Jesus Christ. You uncomfortable with that? You wanted me to mute the mics for you to be able to say you the word. You should have said LGBTQ plus, man. Like, come on, man. Get out of here. X activated. Why are they? Uh, what happened? And then the millennials and the Gen Z are like, oh, they're so cringy. But why are they acting? Why are they acting so cringy? All right, I'm done. I don't, I didn't, you know, you took me down a rabbit hole I didn't I did. approve of. I didn't approve of this rabbit hole. Took you down, so downstream. I was in. You really did. You really did. Oh, I still don't have, I need, damn it's it. It's on the, uh, on the live. I deleted it. Oh, no. You know. All right. Um, what time is it? 25. Okay, we're going to end soon, minutes. but like, we got to, we got to figure out. Okay, what else do you want to watch? All right, one more cringe. One more cringe, one which more is? Cringe, that one right there. Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, they're all cringe. cringe huh? Yeah, let's <laughs> yeah. be real. Let's be fucking real. Do you want to get through this whole thing then? I we could try. Okay. My name's Charmander. <laughs> oh, dude. I recently learned a new trick. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> I can turn myself into a wolf. <laughs> this reminds can me of the fucking you? dunk video we watched. Yay! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> okay, bear with me here. Or should I say wolf? <laughs> <Wait a minute. laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, one second. He's really terrifying. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> My Speed <name>. fucking dunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, that was like <laughs> most cancer shit ever, dude. Jesus. I've never seen <laughs> I've yeah. never seen a mind virus like this before. This is such a I just I just watched heart. this video like creep into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking comedy, dude. That was really yeah. fucking hell. How do you find this dude just fucking comes up? Dude, I have so much worse shit. <laughs> okay, this was. So can cringe. I tell you? High five, dude. That yeah, was. Yeah, let's go. That was a go. tremendous bangers, one. Bangers. That made me cry. That was so fucking funny, dude. They they definitely were oh roasting my his ass. God, that was so funny. It's like he self roasted himself, though. He did you know? for real. Yeah, he really self roasted I'm himself. Charming, dude. Don't 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 don't. Is this is this the next video you want to sure, watch, dude? Right. Every right, single person that I went to school with is not is using the degrees shit. that they paid for. What did you What did you go to what college they actually, for? What did I, uh, journalism. Isn't that what you're doing right now? What do you mean? Like journalism oh, stuff? You probably don't know my backstory. So because you know this politician lady, you I don't probably know don't know my backstory. Like that's so fucking. That's so conceited. All right, I'm, all right. All my right. family was poor. I had to take out loans to go to school. My mom didn't even graduate high school. So wait, what? If your family's poor, why would you have to take out loans to go to school? That's a good question, actually. What? I just told you. I if your think. family's poor, why would you have to take out loans to go to school? Yeah. Why would I have to take out loans to go to? School? All right, I know what. What do you mean? I know what direction he's going. I have to take out loans. So my my family can't afford to pay to put me through school. Hold on. Was your family actually poor, or did you just lie? What are, you, what are you talking about? If you go to school and your family has a low gross income, you fill out, you fill out the FAFSA, and yeah. the FAFSA is going to award you a ton of federal aid, assuming that you don't actually have the gross yeah. income from your parents to actually go to school. So yeah. if your parents are super poor, I don't know why you had to pay full out-of-state tuition I, to go to a university. I did. did you think, what, what do you mean, did I lie? I, every Man, he really got her ass. That's so true. I'm not going to lie. You might think that, but FAFSA does not give you shit. Yeah. FAFSA will cover you for like one semester. Okay, okay, but you're telling me that you don't get any poor people's scholarships? Come on, man. I think she had scholarships. Okay, okay. I, I'm surprised that she said that she had to take out a loan, honestly. Yeah, yeah. But Is like, this a white woman who's trying to be ethnic? A white woman that's trying to... You mean... No, she's black. Oh, is she really? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. who is this woman? I don't know, but I just saw this, and she's I was like, damn. She's been politics? I think she's in politics. Or she like she talks about it a lot. I feel like she's like the black lady Ben Shapiro. 
Okay. All right. I feel All like right. she probably has a lot of the same values as Ben Shapiro. Cool. Okay. But uh, I, f- I was like, damn, I feel that way. Like, just because I have fast foot. Yeah. And back yeah. when I started school, my parents were making crazy amounts of money. You know, mm-hmm. four kids. Like, mm-hmm. sure, they might make like middle class money, but when mm-hmm. you have four kids and you're separating your wealth, some kids get left out, like me. Yeah. Sure. 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 Child. Sure. Yeah. So uh, going to school is sucks no scholarships or anything like that mm-hmm. so you got the fafsa mm-hmm. and then the fafsa you know it's like covers a semester then i have to like work okay hella hard just to pay for like the next semester right m- within the year mm-hmm. and right. you don't take out loans right yeah I'm taking out loans yeah yeah I but understand. if i did take out loans then i wouldn't have to work but like mm-hmm. who's gonna prove me of a fucking loan right and well, this is where i say kamala harris you need to increase the amount of money that you're giving to kids for FAFSA to cover the whole year. That'd be crazy. FAFSA is state, though. Is it state? Yeah, it's state. It's state funding. Damn, we need a government loan. You need school. a government like funding for schools or kids who go to school. For sure. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Just give us like five bands or some shit, like right. a year, for all can go to school. Five bands would be really nice, actually. That would be really nice. You could almost yeah, you could do a lot with. So five. you got five. You got like. I'm, I'm gonna say like about five bands for your first semester, then you get another five bands the next one. From mm, the now you're talking some serious money. That's ten bands a year. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, no summer, no summer money. No summer money. You're I gonna have to like work for that. That's pretty fair. Yeah, that's pretty fair. But what we just talked about was an impossibility. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's such an impossibility. Maybe I was quick to judge, and and I I judged uh like that's how it is with a lot of shit though. Like. Yeah, I you know I was quick to judge. Like you know maybe she has a fantastic point, and and you know maybe he does not have a fantastic point. Maybe I was. I too saw wrong. another clip of him, and he was just like he just seemed like a dumbass to me. Does I'm he? Not gonna lie. Okay. Like I feel like she kind of walked all over him in this, but yeah, I have seen some fair. videos where she says some crazy shit too, and I'm like, what the fuck are you saying right now? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Okay. So it's and uh, then you also have to know like the context of the conversation, of course. Can't, absolutely. Can't get out of it short. Can't you can't get a full context, and you also can't fig- like this this minute could have taken twenty minutes to actually have right. a full con- full length conversation about. All the variabilities of what it is to be, you know, like a a non wealthy person going into I don't know, I even know how to put put it, but like okay, what where do you want videos? What I have? Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's watch that one. This yeah. one, yeah. this one seems and then really good. Watch a minute of Penguin's video after that one. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, right. sure. And then I think that that could be a good end. Okay. <clears throat> the Jonas hey guys, Brothers. I'm in the Florida Everglades. Nice. Check out this yellow rat snake I found. Yoink. I, <laughs> I remember that guy, yeah. yeah. The yoink He's like guy. Making, min- but it's okay, it didn't hurt much. Making fun of that Look guy. Swamp Poppy tried to hide from me. Yoink. He tried to act all tough, but I know he's a sweetheart. Boop. Oh, see? Now tell me where the 500 pound wild bro is. Now watch me use my feet to attract the swamp puppy. Oh, don't go. Man. Wow, check out I can't believe they did it. I know. Ouch. You know how many snakes are actually in that water? Probably a shit ton. Ah. Because the family is nearby. See, little guy. Ooh, I found a rare native chameleon. Yoink. This guy wasn't too happy with me, but who can't love a face like that? Ooh, check out this big wild bro. Not quite 500 pounds yet. They tried to intimidate me, but I know what to do. Yoink. You know, hey guys, you that I hate to be creed? I hate to be this person, but it was kind of sus at the end, though. It was kind of <laughs> sus for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, what am I? But that was funny, though. I mean, like they really went for it, you know. Yeah, they really went for it. Now, like you know, that one guy's wild and though, you know, picking up all the snakes and the chameleons and the gators. That guy, and he's just like yoink yoink. That like, guy bro, had what? the balls steel. of steel. He had more balls than all of those guys in that video for combined. sure. Combined for sure. He, psh, like dude, what are you doing? That man was fucking unbelievable just to be tapping his toe in the water and you see the gators coming up killer eyes just come upon you 
shit's crazy. Fuck. You'll pick up a fucking poison, something poisonous. He's like, it's a bite. It's and super he's, poisonous. He's fucking Yoink. so giddy. He's got a catchphrase. This motherfucker's so giddy. He's got a catchphrase. It's insane. Yeah, uh, yeah. I liked that. I enjoyed that actually. Thank you for that. And then last video, which w- w- where it's is not it? here, but okay, you have okay. to. You would have to go to Penguin's channel. That's fine. And then it's. I know where it is on the red bar. I don't know the minute. That's fine. You're fine. It's uh, called the Penguin Z Zero situation. I hope he he still has it out. It's one of his videos. Yeah, there's like there's a lot of controversy going on with him, right? Yeah, right there. Twenty four minutes. I think it's about. I want to say seventeen minutes in. Okay. Okay. It's just super interesting <sighs> to see like a, a humble moment from this guy. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's nice to see a humble. Well, it's it's nice to see humble moments from all people, you know. And I, I try to be even on this on these like streams. I try to be my most humble version of myself, you know, my, the most gracious to you guys, audience. Thank you guys for watching us. You know, like without you guys, would be not we would be nothing. And it's like, you know, you make mistakes. I make mistakes. I can't speak perfectly all the time. Right. Sometimes my natural opinion may off- offend people, and that's unfortunate. I'm not going to be apologetic, but I will have some humility right. that maybe I am not correct, but I'm not here to apologize for not being incor- for not being correct. I'm a fucking human, fallible, as all human beings are fallible. And so it's like people get so fucking upset and just get their little you know they just get their little feelings hurt and it's like it's just can we chill out you know can we chill out can we chill i love out? a chill nation i love a chill nation too so at 17 will, you want yeah i will explain the situation just a little bit sure. a little brief so apparently he quit his podcast or he's stepping down from oh, his podcast yeah the op that's awesome no offense guys <laughs> but like we've been trying to get the op as like our acronym that's and hilarious so <laughs> yeah yeah he's 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 the official podcast yeah i see yeah yeah so he stepped down from his podcast and he like to tweet about it and everyone like all the people on his podcast were saying like yeah he's quitting that and then mm-hmm. people on the internet were like speculating that he's like quitting the internet mm-hmm. and they're like he's quitting on us he's not making any more videos or da, 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 da. and mm-hmm. then he like makes a video and then they're like oh you lied da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. and he's like what the fuck guys come on mm-hmm Right. So this and is this, this is, is where you want to start? Yeah, and then he kind of like dives, goes off on a rant about the internet and how it was like a safe space for him. And back in the day when he first should, started, should and you now it like changed? Okay, and he's like Loki, not fucking a fit. Okay, ah, hiccup, not yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. fit. Okay, okay. Of learning about it, and when it comes to transitioning, it's still a process where you talk to your family about it, you more. learn Probably about it, like, like eighteen. I mean, base, it really wasn't a good argument to try and make in the. F- I didn't go in here expecting a debate, so I had nothing prepared here for this inundation. He really seems like right out of the worst debate. And he was also discussing like the Sneeko situation and the Mr. Beast situation. I and most people were wrong about Sneeko's perspective on the age of consent. However, unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be the case. He was very adamant about this position. I think right after this, and I did a terrible job. I about. And I've talked about this a lot. I've always treated my channel kind of like a I diary so. for myself, yeah. which is why I just talk about so much different nonsense and so many things that I know a lot of people don't give a fuck about. But some of it's fun for me to talk about, or some of it's just things I care about. So being totally honest, I used to treat the internet as an escape from my dog shit real life. Truly unhappy, really hated most of everything about myself, and the internet was my escape from it. But now it's really become that real life is the escapism for me now. Like, I love posting and creating things, but I don't like interacting with the internet around me anymore. And it's something that I started to realize a couple months ago, and I've talked about it on stream a little bit, how because I've covered so many, like, drama stories and everything, it's pretty much all that I ever get told about when I'm streaming, and it's become such a massive headache, and it's just constant negativity that I'm fully flooded with like, at all hours, like, I am in, like, this human centipede of eating someone's ass while having my ass eaten with even more things that I'm being demanded to, like, talk about, where everything just feels like a lose-lose, and it has been for, like, the last six or eight months, I feel, where if I talk about something, it's a problem. Even if something is cut and dry as, like, Cody Ko having sex with a 17-year-old being bad, I caught a lot of shit for that, too. I'm sure a lot of people probably didn't see that, but, man, the amount of emails I got and a lot of the things I was seeing... 
even something as cut and dry as that was an issue when I talked about it. And then if I don't talk about something, or if I don't talk about something fast enough in the time that some people think is appropriate, I'm then accused of covering up for something for an ulterior evil motive. So it just really feels like, man. Isn't that shit crazy? This is why this is why I'm so gung-ho on not, like, no offense, guys, but just not being, not having my emotions attached to our our commenters you know what i'm saying like sure. that's why eventually if if we would ever to be blessed to be in his position of production in his position of popularity on the internet i would love to not even think about what external forces act upon us right you know on the internet i shouldn't even care i right. should just live in a bliss you know, live in ignorance. And live you know what ignorance. I mean? And like, maybe we'll have like a guy who like, or, you know, I say guy, maybe we'll have a person who's like featuring, they're like, they're going to do a guest spot on our podcast. Great. And like, they'll bring these concerns of, you know, they witness the internet, you know, turning on us or whatever bullshit it is. But like, if it's not coming out of a human being's mouth right in front of me, should I really even worry about right, it? Right. And I would say no. Yeah. No. You're having too many you're having too many internal yeah. forces in your mind. Like it's it's just like a bad It's fucked. For it's sure. fucked, dude. Wait, who, who, I feel bad, you know. You like, know? It's just these the way things it's changed. these things these things are not natural. These things are new to us as human beings. And so for us to have like our emotions tied to this thing is problematic. You shouldn't have your emotions tied to your cell phone or any technology, you know? Like that's a new thing that's like changing our brains. Sure. So it's like the only thing that's attached to my emotions that's technology is my Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You touch my Typhlosion, it's wraps. Yeah. Spin the block. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say my emotions. I used to be really attached to sports. Like, if my sports team lost, I'd be really upset. You know, if the Bengals lost, I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm so sad. Like, you know, it'd have it affect my emotions. But now it's like, I'm just trying to limit the things that affect my emotions, you know? Like, if I get a flat tire, of course I'm going to be like, that sucks. But hurt. I'm going to no. be butthurt, and I'm going to go through, like, you know, the natural, like, ups and downs of the waves of emotion. But, like, that should be normal, right? For but, sure. like, if I get a... If we get a bad comment on the Aruka podcast of, like, you guys are fucking losers. Which is like, every day. <laughs> every fucking day we get that shit. Every day it's, like, the internet's that's like, you're a loser and you should go fucking destroy all of your, like, podcast stuff and just die. And it's, like... <laughs> Jesus Christ, what drove... What calmed up your ass and went around the corner again? I know. Like, who screamed at you before you... Came on the Before YouTube. you typed that little comment it's like dude just like i can't i can't have my emotions attached to the um, the matrix right you know the fucking matrix the, i can't have my emotions attached to the matrix i would like to be like i would have i would like to have a uh, a restful soul you For know sure. like not a restless there is a statement that he says in like a couple in like a minute hopefully try to keep playing it yeah it was like crazy a rock and a just about his opinion regardless it's just going to be a massive flood of negativity. And a huge critique of me that I've always seen is Charlie's a fence sitter. He's just a fucking fence sitting enlightened centrist cuck this and that. And I've always said for the entire time I've been on the internet, I'm not special. I'm literally just a normal guy who got very lucky. I just sit here, joke about shit, talk about my opinion on things, and nothing else. I don't have a unique perspective on things. I don't have deep insight into the vicissitudes of certain things. I am literally just a guy who yaps, has some fun, talks about shit, does some wacky stuff as well, and that's it. It's just not that deep. But because everything is so inflammatory and charged online, it's being perceived in the last, I'd say like the last two years, it's really popped off as me making deliberate attempts to appease both sides and play right down the middle to soak up as much as possible. Like, it's it's all this, like, nefarious scheme where I'm doing this with my hands. <laughs> and I just don't understand how it's become so incendiary where that's apparently, like, a really bad thing now. My opinion is not special. And my opinion isn't one that's pandering to any sides or catering to anything. It's literally just... Whatever's up here, I sit down for like 30 to 45 minutes on like a topic or like a video that I'm joking around about, 
and I talk about it. I am legitimately just an average, well, below average height guy <laughs> who's about to turn 30. I'm not just spitting yeah. hot takes out the walls. Right. I would love to be in his I spot just, at 30. I gotta be myself. honest. That's like, all this channel ever has <laughs> been. Uh, can I pause it? Yeah. Now it's I think I'm that's good. good. I'm good, dude. Yeah. That's super interesting, though, that he, he understands his, like... His he's position not, Yeah, in the he's, world? like, not super egotistical or anything. Like, yeah. I, Andrew Tate, I am the elite alpha male. No, he understands right. that, like, no, you're just another guy. You're just another guy. Yeah, and it's... You know, I, I like, that's why I think Penguin, if he sat right here, it would be fine. We would yeah, have a decent conversation. He would be able to go into depth about his, like, you know. Opinions when, or whatnot. That's why when we get to this position, I hope that I could go into such elaborate, like, monologues about my opinion like he can. He has such an ability to speak. Not saying that he's special. I'm just saying that, like. You know, when you do that shit for 10 years, right. you got the ability to speak on camera and you're comfortable, you right. know, like, uh, and I mean that, if anything, he's got that skill, right? He's got the ability to speak on camera and speak honestly and speak his mind. And, you know, that would be the impressive thing to like, you know, and I think he'd be cool. I think he would be a really cool guy to like, you know, have a chat with. And so, I feel that. yeah, I was, I was like, Charlie, I'm not here to be like, I'm just I'm not a fan of anybody, you know. I feel I'm that like too. I'm starting not to be You're a not fan of like praise anyone. You no. don't know what they're doing. He's just really. a human being. Yeah. yeah. He's just like a human being like me and you and like I'm sure he does this stupid shit and I'm sure he does like some smart shit here and there. And he is doing well. Yeah. For an almost thirty year old man, you know? He might not look so good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. He looks like fucking Quando mm. Reeves. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um okay, let's end it yeah, soon. For but sure. like uh, here's the last thing i'll end it on is that um my girlfriend's really into fast and furious i see and um so i watched i watched one of the movies the other day and i think that i'm trying to incorporate vin diesel's stare where it's like what the f what the it's his <laughs> that's vin diesel's stare bro he's like it's really cool i like it a lot You know, like I'm a big fan of his stare, and like the um, I so the, the chat's gonna roast me for this, but the first movie of the Fast and Furious I watched was Fast and Furious Seven because it was on Peacock, I think, or maybe it's on Max. I don't, I don't remember. <clears throat> but it's the movie that like Paul Walker dies afterwards, and so like they do like the montage for him, and um, it's the movie where uh, Vin Diesel is like, you know, in a street fight, you know, in a street fight street always wins and he like steps on the ground and like you, do you remember the watching that on the I podcast seen, it was on the, on the podcast. yeah we watched it on the podcast Man, I don't remember. uh it was just one vi it was like a video that like is like the end of the movie where vin diesel like stomps the ground after that phrase and that british actor i forget what he's like in transporters and i forget what his name is but he like falls from the him from vin diesel stomping oh, on the ground shit. and it's very funny it's super funny in the movie like when you watch it as like a movie it makes total sense but when you clip it out and you just watch that part of the movie it's r hilariously ridiculous and so, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to incorporate my vin diesel stare someone help you me know, God. someone help me I, uh, you know, it's it's good seeing you, and I think uh, you're a respectable man, and you're my family. You know. Oh my God! <laughs> Someone please save me, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh it's, my God! It's I'm literally informative. <laughs> I am inform informative. <laughs> it's literally how Vin Diesel talks in the movies. It's just like, it's just me, my fi me, oh, familia. You know, I can't, I can't be, I can't speak Spanish, but. <clears throat> What you got a chat Jesus guy? Christ. No, we're not reading that chat. Wait, let me hear. Oh, let me no, see. Let me just let chat. me just read no. it. Let me just no. read it. Let me just read Some it. Dumbass shit. Have you? And like, wait, well, he subscribed before he, he subscribed. He subscribed. He subscribed. He you know, not that's one of our boys. <sighs> that is one of our boys. All right, we're gonna end it there, guys. I think that's a great place to end it's it. It's a great place to end it. All right, you got any other statements before we end it? No, sir, sir. Be good. Be great, America. Okay. Goodbye. The Aruga Podcast. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys. They look busy, right?